some stiff. Okay. So last time, oh, if you will notice, if you go in and look that I have um, put down a couple campaign lore sheet stuff, I'll end up putting in some more, but we can kind of deal with those when we get to someone using deeds. Oh yeah, I need to use. Oh, yeah, I need to use. What is it called? What is it called? Just that's it. Just that's it. Yep. So yeah, the Joss is you can you can use it if you want at any point to have like a um, kind of like a little bit like a plot point in something else where uh, an interesting thing happens that's possibly unlikely that like you happen to meet someone that you might know or have some advantage something along those lines. So I believe we I believe we had uh, we finished off where you had been at the fire mm -hmm. that was caused by Red Eagle, uh -huh. and uh -huh. you had explained to the. Uh, Falling Leaf Society members, and then uh, Benevolent Lee from the uh, Resplendent Phoenix Society, that this was not, in fact, uh, some, this is not, in fact, an attack from the Resplendent Phoenix trying to gain prestige uh, in the struggle to essentially become uh, Gallant Eagle's successor. Mm. Mm. Now, the one thing you're all aware of. All of the major factions are going to be doing what they can to make themselves, to kind of puff themselves up and seem worthier of having some of their people take over. Because if somebody can take over from another faction, they can essentially, if they've chosen the right person, um, or rather put forth the right person for Gallant Eagle to choose, they could essentially almost combine, gain the strength, or be very closely allied. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So there's going to be tension sort of between all of mm. them. Did you two do, want to do anything after leaving from the uh, the fire? Um, um, so what were they, yeah, what were so they, what like, they, yeah, what were they, everyone's, everyone's rea like, did yeah, like, uh, me did, saying uh, that it was a fire boy? Hello. 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 What's up? Oh no. Oh no. Hello? Hello! Hello! Hello. Hello. Apologies, I was tra chasing a stray dog around the neighborhood. <laughs> and then I lost my brother, so I was chasing a stray brother around the neighborhood. Oh! I thought you were calling your brother a dog! <laughs> no, no, no. There was an actual dog. Aww! All is forgiven for dogs! <laughs> we couldn't catch it. Aww! <laughs> To give your brother a bit of a kick in the butt. Eh, he was just uh, he was doing the correct thing, thing, which was circling in a different pattern than I was. He just didn't have his phone, so. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. How was your Gen Con? Amazing. Amazing. Did y'all get to meet up? Did y'all get to meet up? Uh, we did, we not. did not. Unless we did, and I was nowhere. Nope. Mm. nope. Mm. I was busy. I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad you had fun. Very busy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I got to play in a bunch of events, including the the testing for the fifth edition of Vampire, a couple of Upwind games. Um, met up with some friends of mine. That was nice. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Bought a whole bunch of books I didn't need. <laughs> Bought a very expensive piece of art. Ooh. Of what? Um. The um, author the slash author comic artist Phil Foglio had his Foglio bunch of his original had, sketches, his original sketches, and especially from the Battle of Paris, which was last year. And he had one and scene had that I was particularly keen on. Particularly keen on. Nice. Nice. Because like, I, I wanted the Ascension of Colette, which is one of the characters I enjoyed, characters but like, enjoyed. without the color, the scenes without don't really color, stand up. Really stand but there's a scene that I harkens back to a lot of his old, like, like old comic, old comic old work, comic, comic work of this guy, of this guy who has, like, 50 bodies, like, hidden around Paris. And the, the page is all of them getting... For himself or just people he's killed? Like, himself. Like, he's multiplicitous. Like, he's multiplicitous. He's in one mind in all the bodies at once. That's, like, his deal or whatever. And the original somewhere outside of Paradise. But the scene is, uh, basically, he stabbed a bunch of people in the back and needs to pay for it. So the scene is all of his bodies getting destroyed one by one in the same instant. But it's, like, rendered in this extremely cartoonish way of just, like... 
like buzzsaw, like, buzzsaw. <laughs> like the noise a buzzsaw noise makes, a buzzsaw and then like just makes. it's this whole double it's page of that. Page with this really detailed this really drawing, drawing on the bottom of Colette, bottom like, standing over him, standing grimacing, with power, grimacing with power, and him, like, reaching out, half dying. out half dying. It's really nice. And now really I can't nice. open and anything. Can't Discord, open. why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Anyway. That's me. That's me. Cool, cool. So yeah, we were, we were just discussing yeah, we were, we were what just what we discussing were doing what, what after the fire bit, I think. The fire bit, I think. Yeah. Uh, what was the general reaction so, of the, the people to saying people it was a, a fire person, a fire, fire like person, whatever the group? Uh, there's some, some concern. They're, they're in that that mode where they both want to kind of blame. Well, they don't want to both blame the other because the um, respond the. Benevolent Lynn, Lee knows it's not her. Mm. Um, mm. They still want to sort of blame it on their splendid fire, but you came forward saying it was a member of the uh, uh, Fire Doctrine. There's some concern um, on both of their accounts. Fire Doctrine showing up, they are a rather extreme cult. Mm -hmm. And they don't know if they're pushing for power or what they're trying to do. They're a little hard to... They've got kind of a deep hatred in general of the dynasty and of the people who are not considered sort of barbarians. So because of that, Fire Doctrine being thrown in basically puts a gigantic wrench in all the cogs and nobody's entirely sure how it's going to pan mm. out. Mm. Then I think then what, I think um, what, um, what uh, Pale Orchid what would do is ask, ask if anyone needed help with anything. Help with anything. Like if there was anything, like if there was anything she could do to just help she out. To just help out. Um, like so, like, like, like relating relating to like the problem. I'm not going to be like, yo, does someone's dog need walking? Like, <laughs> just like. Wait, you're asking the, just, the the falling leaf society. Um, um, yeah, just like just yeah, generally the groups that, like, were there, like, the like, so that were there. Like, so she they were outside like, the fallen leaf place, right? Place, right. So I guess them. Yeah. Yeah, so at, at this point, it's, it's basically the fallen leaves. Uh, unless someone to stop her, Benevolent Lynn has taken off. Yeah, I mean, we made plans for tomorrow, so. Yeah, she's not particularly welcome uh, at this place. And other other uh, fallen leaves society members are starting to show up. Maybe so, I offer to escort her maybe home. Maybe I offer to escort her home. Oh, Benevolent Yeah, Lynn? or just like, do you want some comp Would you like some company on the way home? Would you like some company on the way home? Um, she sort of takes a look at you for a moment and goes. I suppose, but don't get handsier than I let you. <laughs> I give her a smile. Her a of smile. course, consent in all things. Consent in all things. Um, she sort of smiles, and you you feel a bit of a tap on your behind <laughs> from like from like her, her sort of thing, and then she's oh, I apologize. <laughs> then, I just laugh. I just, I just laugh. laugh. Sparrow's just like, yeah, that's all. I'm just gonna go. Just bye, Sparrow. It was nice seeing you again. I didn't expect to see you so soon. Well, be here for a while, probably. So you'll probably see a lot of me. Oh God, what did what did I name my mother's tea shop? It was a really good name. It was extremely extra. It was autumn. Let me check my notes. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Leaves of, leaves of falling leaves of autumn or something, like that. Autumn or something like that. Well, the house of the blue orchid is the place you want. Yeah, house of the blue orchid is the pleasure house I want to work for. I want to work for. Um, shit, maybe I didn't write it. Down. I didn't either, so it's my fault. Anyway, stop by. Insert name of my mother's tea shop here that I'll figure out before then. Stop by there tomorrow. Say hi. You can have a cup on me. A cup on me. All right then. She's All right then. And she, she's she's also got the um. The Resplendent Phoenix Society, the little scroll case. Who does? Who the, does? Um, Benevolent Lynn, the one that the, the one that uh, the Fallen Leaf Society member was trying to steal. She must have stolen it from me then, because there's no fucking way I caught it out of. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, once she sees it, she she when she sees the the thing on on the on the uh, on the, the cover of it, she's like, I'm a member of the Resplendent Phoenix 
May I take this to our headquarters? Unfortunately, I've been told it's time sensitive. Time sensitive. Meaning that. Would you like to? Would you like me to accompany you to the head of the Resplendent Phoenix in the town's home? That way, the time sensitive can be taken care of this evening. No, as like as it has a waiting period on it. It was supposed to be delivered tomorrow under specific instructions. It got out a day early due to meddling. If you wish, we can all be we can take it back. We can take it back to the nearest Talon branch and see if that we can't have that order removed or altered. But for right now, those are the orders I'm under. There's a sort of look a person can give you that makes that makes you realize they sort of wish you were a cockroach. They can crush you. <laughs> yeah, like you're you're receiving yeah, like, one of those looks right now. Like he, like he doesn't shrink back physically. Like in his mind, it's like oh shit. But you know, loyalty to the talent and all that. They said it goes out tomorrow. It goes out tomorrow. If somebody higher up if says higher up it goes out today, goes out today, then it goes out today. Goes but for right now, he's got his orders. Now, he's got his orders. Yep. So she just smiles. She's like, "You, I'll guarantee you can take it fairly early in the morning, as I will let her know that you'll be coming." Um, if you'd like to request that, I'm not the provided messenger. I just came to get it back. I just came to get it back. But I'd be happy to offer my services. To offer my services. If you can let whoever it is that's bringing it know, we will be waiting early in the morning for it. All right then. Just gonna right, bow out. Like bow out. Like. Okay. At that point, Plum Blossom, um, she sort of turns to Hugh and it's like, it seems I have other places to go first. Of course. But I'm sure course. I'll see you at the House of the Blue Orchid soon. I would be delighted. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, I want a tail! <laughs> Sparrow? Not out of, like, any ulterior motive. I'm just extremely curious now. <laughs> well, I... I it dep are you just going... Because the... Uh, like, one, one thing we put up there was the... The Eagle Talon base thing, essentially, wasn't very far... Yeah. ...from where you were at. Yeah. So I don't know if you're just going back there, yeah, he's, unless you're trying to hide it, he might there, there is nothing there hiding is about nothing the fact that he's got... About the, like, this thing is clutched in his fist. It's not... He's got it in it's both hands in front, both hands in front of him. Hands it's not getting away from him. <laughs> there is no... There is no subtlety to this. This is man on a mission going back to where he came from. Out of curiosity, are you going... Are you walking back, or are you, like, doing the, like, light foot, like, somewhat gliding, flying... Um, um, probably the light foot somewhat gliding, flying, some partly line because line he likes running, like partly because, like, running, partly because, like, because let's get this back as fast as possible before fast Mast fast Idiot before gets, any new, gets any new ideas. I think go through, go over the rooftops, then... Whoosh. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so I, I don't I don't know if you wanted to, like, try to stealthily... Yeah, I do! Yeah, I do! Um, go ahead and make a, make a roll for your stealth. Okay. Okay. And then, Oren, you can make a uh, one for awareness. Okay, uh, let me check. Let me see what my, what my skills are like. Oh, I have self five. Hell yeah. Self five. Hell yeah. So that's what thirty two. Me. Me. With your twenty, you have a twenty eight. Oh yeah, the twenty eight. Yeah, so thirty two. Yeah, twenty eight. Yeah, so thirty three. Thirty three. Yeah, thirty three. Yeah, plus yeah, 33. five. Plus five. Um, how do you determine how skills are determined? How skills are determined? Uh, so you you should have either a um, five or ten, or or nothing for your skills. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And there is one of them. I think up towards top was. I think it's awareness. Yeah, I have like five yeah, in awareness. Like five in awareness. Oh, they so say all you do is you just, basically any time you have to make a roll, just hit the R four button. Mm -hmm. You create mm -hmm. a set and add four to it. Or five. Five. Okay, so I'm just gonna create. Yeah. I'm just gonna create three tens and add a win. You want to? You want interesting times already? <laughs> um, you know what? I I, gotta I don't have a river for this session yet. So. Well, I, because the it'll end the end of the scene. So unless something happens, I mean, you, you can put the sixes in. I can't really think of an interesting times for this because okay. this isn't really. A, I'm gonna put the sixes in and I'll the store the I'll tens store in the, the river or what have you. Okay. Or, what have you. or like. Yeah, well, yeah, you, you definitely catch uh, Plum Blossom heading after. Just kind of look back. Kind of look back. 
Do I, do I notice him look? Like, is this obvious enough? Oh yeah, this is like full turnaround. I give you a nice wave. If you, if you wanted to come along, you can. Sorry, it was so, just so much more exciting to just try and remain hidden, you know? There's a mystique to it. Can't say I do. You just, you seem to value that a great deal. I just, I didn't want to wound your pride by offering help. Hmm? I'm sorry. What was that? Um, um, uh, this, this role matters a great deal to you, and you provide a good service on the way here, and I simply want to provide help without injuring your pride, and now, well, I'm doing one of those at least. Alright then. Just, my pride's been fine. I'm not so... I'm not so... I'm not so stuck up as to refuse help when needed. And is it needed? At the moment, no, but I'd appreciate the company. Of course, that is what I'm best at. So I've been told. <laughs> Give you like a little vicious wink. Huh. I love, I love the, the picture that this is all happening while... Um, uh, well, Lone Sparrow is still leaping backwards from roof to roof. Oh yeah, like he hasn't stopped oh, moving. Yeah, hasn't stopped. And like every time I try to talk, it's like me catching up for a split second because you're so much faster than me. So much faster than me. Um, yeah, I think that was all I wanted to get out of that one. Okay. So you drop it off back at the um, at the Eagle, Eagle Talent headquarters. Yeah, Iron Arm Kefu has kind of come back at that point. He's got Eastern Sunrise, who uh, was supposed to be protecting those things who was asleep and did not notice it being removed uh, is, is his eyes are very much glued to the ground uh, Iron Arm Kefu, you can kind of hear Iron Arm outside of the uh, of the building just kind of stroll back in stroll like, like back in. bad things are going to happen bad regardless so might as well just face them head on that's a very good attitude to have. Very good attitude to have. You'll be just fine. You'll be just You've fine. done a good job tonight. You've done a good job tonight. Uh, it's not me I'm worried it's about. It's not me I'm worried about. Well, well, if your friend needs a little cheering up tomorrow, cheering send them my way. Send them have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> yeah, finally, he's like, he's like uh, turns, to, turns to you, Lone Sparrow, then turns back to Eastern Sunrise. It's a good thing Lone Sparrow was here and leaving, otherwise they would have taken it. What do you have to say for yourself? I apologize. I apologize. And just berates him. I, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm Ionam. Sorry, you sorry, managed Ionam. to miss a. You managed. Miss you miss managed a, like you managed. I don't think the fault is all his own. The fault is all his own. I mean, sure he let I somebody mean, in, sure somebody but I also in, let him escape. Let him and you escape. also managed to miss an enemy manage breaking manage into your own establishment. Your own establishment. Damn. Damn. His eyes kind of narrow a little bit <laughs> because I was not the one. Who was keeping the scroll safe? Yeah. If someone, he kind of looks back at Asian Sunrise, had bothered to put it, uh, put it in the locked room as he probably should have, instead of going straight to sleep, this wouldn't have happened. And yet you knew we had something you important. Knew you knew you had a locked room, room and you, locked you didn't room, mention it. You didn't mention it. His glare goes from Eastern Sunrise to you, back to Eastern Sunrise. <laughs> And goes, fine, I'm going to bed, you take care of this. And the storms are <laughs> Nice. <sighs> Incredible. Incredible. Pale Orchid. Hello. Hello. As they're leaving, um, I guess you'd ask for yes. help. Um, yes. The two help. The, ma the man with the mask who had had the scroll case mm -hmm. comes to you and like lowers the mask. Um, young, handsome is all... Um, Wushu people are, um, who aren't evil. Um, Listen, goes, it like, kind of gives you a bow. It's like, thank you so much for telling us who was truly behind this. This is not going to go well in the city. What do you know of Red Eagle? Um, so. People so, don't speak people of speak in like levels, levels, right? I can't levels, say that right? they're one level they're above me. But like, no, no, you, literally you can. I mean, because like like rank one, um, the, the, within the ranks, there's not really a way to differentiate. Mm. But like you can like 
a rank five is a, is a new one up to rank one. So yeah, you actually can use those in character. Like we, we can kind of translate that you might say something slightly different. Yeah, just like they're, they're, um, they're just like quite they're, powerful, they're or quite at powerful, least the very least more powerful, powerful than powerful I am. Than um, they are very, very. Um, they have a lot of fire chi, a, a lot of it. It was very evident on their face. Um, she leaves out the fact that, that her uncle worked with him at some point. Um, yeah, I understand that. He sort of nods. He's like, she gives a she gives a description which is like he's very obvious to the eye, right? Yeah. Are you are you with any of the societies? Oh fuck! Does she oh, say? Fuck, I think she say, does. Like, like, there's loads of wandering, like, um, wandering uh, fucking heavenly sword people. Heavenly sword people. Uh, she is. She says, she yeah, says um, yeah. Um, heavenly sword. Heavenly sword. Kind of nods. There's not a great. There's not a very large heavenly sword um, contingent mm. within Magnificent Inc. So I think you'll probably be out of the main difficulties. She not. But Gallon Eagle has re- Gallon Eagle has announced he's stepping down, and that anyone can take over. You're about to see this town become a lot more dangerous. That is a lot. Is a um, lot. She can. Um, truth be told, yeah. the entire the entire realm will probably become a little more dangerous with people trying to prove their strength. She nods and consents. This that. won't be easy. Um, yeah, she uh, says, I imagine yeah, all, of the, uh, all of the groups the, uh, will be getting their, the hands dirty. getting their hands dirty. Possibly. And then she uh, she shakes and her head and says, that's not real for me to judge or interfere with, really. Kind of smiles, he's like, we owe you for both you and your friends, for not only helping out here, but warning us and letting us know what was going on. If things broke between... The Resplendent Phoenix Society and ourselves, this... Ugh. Is there anything I can do to help? Hell? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to pick sides, gonna, but, pick but sides, I would very but happily I'm try very to prevent, happy, try to prevent like, like, bad blood. Bad blood. <laughs> yeah, he laughs, he goes, you can get the heads of the Resplendent Phoenix Society and the heads of the Falling Leaves Society to get along. <laughs> We've, uh... Rarely seen eye to eye. There's been a lot of rivalry there for, well, for forever. Things might change, but currently, currently we're not really in a place that, well, I don't have a lot of hope, but we're trying. Uh, she nods and says, "If the best thing I can do is stay out of both of your ways, then then I guess I can do that." Well, just know that. For you and your friends, we owe you. Mm. We will not forget that. She nods. She turns to leave, then just doesn't immediately leave, turn on her heel 360 and back towards him and says, Actually, do you know of any good scholars to, that know lots about weaponry? <laughs> Certainly. Um, Zen Q. Uh, and he kind of describes where, like, there, there's scholars all over yeah. the place, but in the, in the yeah. scholar homes. Um, as young Q uh, has often come around to a number of the various uh, societies here and with weapons that we find or others always looking for tales that we've heard of legendary weapons, things along those lines uh, told quite a few stories as well, I would check with her yes, do you know, can you point out where she lives? he basically tells you like the the places you can find her in the scholars area that she's with like one of the there's there's like some universities, but there's also just a lot of random like rogue scholars, not rogue scholars, but sort of scholars who are looking up their own stuff. Yeah. That she actually has yeah. a, a small book a small bookshop. Dope. What time is it right now, by the what way? What time is it right now, by the way? Uh, it's it's late at night, probably close to like eleven. Okay. Okay. Uh, she also says, uh, she also "Cool. Says, that, thank cool. you very much. Yeah, One more thing. Do you know of anywhere I could stay that is very very cheap?" Very, very he smiles for a second. You see him start to open his mouth to say something, then thinks better of it. <laughs> at, at which point you hear, um, you hear someone back there, Marvel Ghost! He just sort of smiles and turns. 
yeah, there is an inn. He describes an inn that's, um, he goes, it's a little bit dangerous, but you're the kind who can take care of yourself. Cool. He goes, by the way, as you may have heard, I'm Mournful Ghost. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Yes, Master Flawless. Mournful Ghost, did you say? Mournful Ghost, did you say? Yep. Mournful. And he says it with a smile on his face. I was gonna say, are you, uh, are you sure you're, uh, falling leaves? Um, yeah, uh, Mournful Ghost, uh, masked guy who stole... Stole... Cool. gonna kick his ass! In brackets, will get ass kicking. Um, yeah, she's gonna go head to that in. She's just gonna... We're gonna be friends whether we like it or not, and it's gonna come after an ass kicking. God. I mean, she's the type of person who might just go to someone's house in the middle of the night, but it's a shop, so she might not be there, so she's going to wait till day. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, um... The next day... We can kind of possibly, unless someone's got something very specific, let a little bit of time pass while there's a few things going on in the city. Sure. Oh, sure. But are, if there's some specific things that you want to do, partly, most of the reason, possibly a little bit of time to pass, uh, actually, even if we don't, um, we can have someone who it's very clear is falling um, pretty quickly. Um, uh, can we take a quick restroom break? Take a quick restroom break. Yes. Cool. Quick. Thanks, Mary. And then I'll fill my drink and use I'm going to get some water. Back in a second. I'm back. Oh god, I just remember all the entanglements we got last time. And I am back. Cool, cool. Cool, While we're waiting for them, we can kind of begin with you. Um, you get a caller the next day. Um, if you're one of your first, there is a way, um, where you can tell someone may get attached a bit too quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Do you prefer um, the, the the collar that's sort of fallen for you, male or female? Um, we've already had some lady flirting. Let's have some man flirting. Let's have some man flirting. Okay. Let's go. Cousin. Make a note here. I need a notes. I need a notes section. Let me see if I can. I am back. Oh. We're going to take notes. I've also I've also put together a quick Trello that has got. Oh, um, that would be um, phenomenal. That would be phenomenal. Um, let me up, put that into Discord and pin it. And pin it. And that board not have... found. Board may be board private. Oh, board mm. may be private. Right. Oh. I just oh, see the login. Um, I think. Oh. I nope, we're not found. I, nope, we're not found. Let me do this. Let me change. Um. Allow team members to join. I think if I do this, I will make it public. Got it. Got it. Yes, extremely helpful. Yes, extremely helpful.
Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move the Magnificent Ink all the way over to the left. Okay. So, your color, Kauzen, is... comes... It's a, um... Administrator. Okay. Actually, okay. Of, of this city. But he's being groomed uh, to possibly go to the capital. Okay. Okay. So Kauzen, uh, he's he's at this point nervous when he comes in uh, and very much looking to. Um, you can sort of tell that he's as you're speaking with him, he's someone who is good at his job and sort of knows it, but part of that's because he's very comfortable mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. Magnificent Ink, and it's, it's people he kind of knows that he, he, spent, his, he spent time building up uh, his connections, and if he ends up going to the capital, while it's a gigantic opportunity, it also means going to a place where he knows few people, and the what he has there is not going to be available. Mm -hmm. Mm. Also, a couple things. I don't know if it'll happen here, but for everyone can re remember, is we'll have a couple individual things here as we go into some of your own story stuff. Um, that you, if, if someone does something awesome, uh, you can give them a deed on the spot. Everyone is able to give one per session. Cool. cool. Is Orn back? Is Orn back? I'm here, sort of. I'm here, sort of. I think, <laughs> if you can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The connection okay. doesn't like you guys right now. Like guys I'm trying. Right. It's okay. Just wanted to make sure you weren't like away at the restroom or something. Nope, I'm here. I've been listening. So I'm here. Cool. I've been listening. Okay. So cool. Kao Zen is, is is kind of got his head down a bit. He's just I I know this place. I know that this city flows in my veins. To go forward is a great thing for my family, but. Magnificent Inc. is who I am. It's who I've always been. You... You, you may have you been may Magnificent been Inc. You may Magnificent be Magnificent Inc., but you are a part of Magnificent Inc. 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 is... Inc. is... A lovely porcelain, a lovely porcelain pot. pot. You are... You are... One beautiful one etching. Beautiful but... Etching, one... But one. And when you go, when you will take, we'll take your, piece your piece and add it to add it wherever to you go next. Wherever you go next. Just because you leave magnificent, you ink leave magnificent ink in the body doesn't mean that doesn't you, mean you cannot that remember its waters. That you cannot remember, waters, you cannot remember the first time the first time you saw the sunset saw over the, the canals. Sunset over the canals. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna suggest here. Make this an inspire yeah. check, and yeah. basically, one thing you can do is ideally also put some into your river, so that if you want to do a, if you want to inflict a uh, cheek condition, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you might be able to, which would be one of the things a courier does. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Uh, yep. uh, oh man. Well, oh man. Let's see. Let's see. River is only so, two. River is only two. The yeah. river is only two, so maybe I. So maybe I. For I will say for him, it, what you're looking at is a hard difficulty, so thirty. So it would be your inspire plus what? Like what? Your inspire is probably ten. Right? Yeah, my inspire is ten. If this is a cortisonal art, it's fifteen. It's fifteen. Oh yeah. So if you if you use the two tens, that would actually work. Yeah, I'll use the two tens to get thirty-five, and I'll put two fives in the river. Fives in the river. Okay. So it sort of looks up as as you say this. Um, would you like interesting times? Oh, uh, how can I ever say no to interesting? Say no to interesting. <laughs> Is there a benefit to saying, to saying yes to interesting times? It, it, it gives you Joss. Oh, I love Joss. Give me that Joss. <laughs> yeah, and since, since, since you succeeded with the tens, it gives you a um, benevolent Joss. All right. Uh, All right. At which point, as as he as he sort of looks up and you you see that in his eyes, it's a little bit. Um, Possibly a little bit more hopeful. Uh, the door to the room that you're in opens, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you look up and you see someone who does not work at the House of the Blue Orchid. 
Uh, the man you're looking at is uh, not as beautiful as you are, if you are. Oh, I'm so But beautiful. also oh, so carries himself with the... Um, with just the sort of grace of a courtesan. Looks looks down. Excuse me uh, one moment, my friend. I say to my client. And I sweep myself up and get in really close before we can even talk. Before we can even talk. Excuse me, this is a private appointment. If you'd like to make an appointment, you can reach me after I'm done. Done in about an hour or so. An hour or so. You speak to the proprietor out front. The proprietor out front. And just kind of looks at you. I am Shenjia. Kao Zen has been someone close to me for some time, and he sort of looks. I knew it was coming up, and I was worried for you when you did not meet, uh, come to our normal appointment, so I searched him out. Well, well, I, I'm sorry to hear that sorry to hear he did that. not seek your employ this time, however. This time, however. He is in my services right now, and, right now, and if you'd like to speak to him, it can like be after can we are finished. After we you can go now. You can go now. And I think, like, in a place like this, there's gotta be, like, guards outside. Guards outside. Like, in the public room. So, like, I make a motion. Like, come on. Come on. Okay. So, at which point... Let me hear real quick. So, as he, turn, he turns once again, um... I know there's new candy in town. However, it's not going to be quite... As sweet as the candy that you know. <laughs> um, um, is is he doing it to oh, cow yeah. or to me? Or yes. To me. Yeah. As, 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 essentially, at this point. So what he's doing is he is trying to put a cheek condition. So he's using courtier arts on cow. Is there a way I can interfere with this? Interfere with this? Uh, you can you can try to soothe it. After it happens. After it happens. Yeah. So right now, I'll just type in the thing. It's forty-eight. Fuck. Um. Fuck. Well. Because yeah, I got, yeah. The three, I got the three eights. Yeah. yeah so it's it's forty eight with um. Uh, well, 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 he'll 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 want to get a, a good hook into him, and um, one story. So he, like it only needs to be sort of beaten once. At, at that point, you, you see he starts to get up. What do you do? Uh, can you remind me what uh, giving me doing some chivalrous joss right now? If I spent it for this roll, it says plus one link. If you spent sh- if you spent chivalrous joss, it gives you. A yeah, I'm spending chivalrous joss. I'm gonna Josh. Joss. Wow, that's hard to say. Um, I'm gonna spend one here. Um, yep. And yeah, manipulation is inspired right, right now. Oh, he got the thirty-eight. I'm gonna actually just roll what his response would be. Um, we had a forty-eight. Thirty-nine. Actually, yeah. There, it's it's right now. It's just it's just a trivial okay condition. Okay. Because his natural. Because I holy fuck, that was a good roll. But technically, he should have one less die. But mm. um, mm. we'll we'll still say it's fine because he's not of the yeah. Room. And since this guy's being like, uh, since this guy's being not, like, he's being a little bit rude. Can I use chivalrous jaw since I'm trying to like smooth things over? Like smooth things over. Okay. Yes. So I spend a point of chivalrous jaw, so, so, so I'm gonna roll the R four and then roll one more. Mm. Mm. The best I can do is with my two fives in the river, a 50? A 50? 35 plus 15. 35 plus 15. Yeah, so on that one, you basically, so there's a trivial condition. There's, you can do one of two things. Do you want to put a, see if you can put a stronger one on him than, uh, than Shin Jia has? I'd rather soothe the one that Shenja put, put on him. Yeah. So in that case, you 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 soothe it. Well, tell me what you say. Um. So he he was saying that like um like sweeter candy is in town, but what, how did he end that? Do you remember? Uh, but it, it's like best to go with the one that you know, mm. the one who knows you. Sometimes we cannot just rely on old comforts. When we are moving forward in life, we have to branch out and explore all of the possibilities at hand. Or else movement doesn't become possible. Now, if you will excuse us. As you, as you, as you shut it, he sat back down because yeah, you, you soothed it down to uh-huh. nothing. Uh-huh. And you kind of see the guards come and um, it's it's very funny because it's actually um, benevolent land. <laughs> So it comes forward and just, it just sort of takes a look and they, the two of them look at each other as you shut the thing and then turn back. Nice. Nice. Now, if you, do you want to put a sheet condition on him and end the scene? Uh, yeah, I would love to do that. Uh, yeah, I would love to um, do that. 
Well, I did before, didn't I? I did before, didn't I? No, the the first one was just to sort of ins just as in inspire. Because ideally, you put some in your river, and then like he would he wouldn't have he would have shown up mm. later mm. if it weren't for the interesting times. Uh, so ideally, you uh, have you have like the inspire and something that can feel better, and then you do. It it just means you have a chance to mm. put something in the river. Yeah, uh, those two sevens are, uh, uh, those two sevens are going in my river. You can't do that because you use. Ah, uh, right. All right. So empty, right. River, empty trying river trying to trying put a condition on him. Put a condition on him. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to provide comfort, not just, I want him to leave better than he was when he was here. Um, so I'll say, I hope the intrusion didn't startle you too much. No, no, it, it's, I, I, there's a part of him you can see that kind of likes the fact that he was come after. It's, I've, Shinja has been someone I've gone to for a while, but I don't know if he quite understands where I'm at. And if you can find yourself, you can so, find popular, yourself so popular people like him people and with like people him, like me and with people like me and we haven't known each other very long at all. Each other very long at all. Surely you will succeed surely magnificently at the capital. Clearly have a way of connecting with people. And you're going to be able to carry that strength with you for that strength with you for <laughs> Okay, okay. Twenty nine plus fifteen uh forty four. Uh forty four. Yep. I'll, his, he'll naturally try to do it. Ha <laughs> <clears> ha! <throat> well, so in this case, <clears throat> so what you've got, um, or rather, I'm sorry, I didn't even have to roll against him. It's just the difficulty in this case. Um, this is something that's pretty obvious. The difficulty here was only a 20, so you have a critical success. <laughs> <laughs> which means... Um, yeah, a critical success turns it into a minor, or that actually turns it. You want a hyperactivity, or a, a hyperactivity? It would be a trivial hyperactivity. Yeah, it'd be a, I'm sorry, it'd be a trivial hyperactivity, which means it's not affecting him in a um, uh, mechanical way, which honestly isn't terribly important, but it does affect him in a role-playing way. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what would you like that to be? Um. Um. Con like just confident. Uh, like just confident. Like. Okay. I want him to be confident that he's going to be able to succeed in this. What was your total? My total was 44. My total was 44. Okay, so I'm assuming you want it to be, like, he, he can get rid of him once, but only once per story? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise it's, it's, it's every scene he would get a chance to get rid of it, and then a five. If he did it five times, he succeeded, he'd go away. Okay. You're looking for okay. long term. Yeah, yeah, I want this yeah. dude to be confident. Yeah. I want this dude to be confident. All right, so yeah, at, at which point... He sort of smiles and sits back down, and is there's just something about him that's a little more alive. Yay! At this Yay. point, I did it. Right. I did it. Woohoo! Lone Sparrow. I think I'm finally back. I think I'm finally yes. Back. Yes. So, the next day, um, you you go and deliver. Yeah, it's like yeah, if they. Like, like I know it's like it's Eastern know, Sunrise's, it's, it's Eastern job, Sunrise's but job, but if it's like they requested, like they requested either specifically me specifically or they me didn't or say I couldn't be around, to be around, then uh -huh. it's one of those things then where if thing Lone Sparrow, like, like if Sparrow will, unless they, will, unless they, he's like it's going to be like, Lone Sparrow on Eastern be Sunrise be unless sunrise, somebody said unless one of them can't come, or like they specifically requested the other. Because it's Sunrise's um, it, it, job to get it there. Job to get it there. Iron, Arm Cal, Iron Arms Cal is basically recommends like after last night, you're more advanced in the Wu Lin than he is. It might be best if you're the one that takes that takes it. I don't think anything will happen, but I think we're sitting on a powder keg. There's a very good chance that what's in there is information about what Gallant Eagle did. Once that happens, the problem is. Falling Leaves Society, this is their main headquarters, so the information came here first. With Resplendent Phoenix Society, it went somewhere else and then made its way here. It still got here fast. All right, then. I All guess right, we'll then. deliver it. I guess we'll deliver it. Okay. Um, you you go there. Uh, the, when, the, when the door opens, you have um, uh, both Benevolent Men... Um, and the oh, I didn't open my thing of of cool kick-ass Wusha names. 
Benevolent Lynn and um, Illustrious Clouds, who is the head of uh, the local Resplendent Phoenix Society, waiting for you. Uh, you, you. You come in. Benevolent Lynn is looking at you with just... She's pissed you had to go all the way through this. However, um, Illustrious Clouds is sort of holding herself... You, there's possibly a bit of impatience there that this has happened, but she's also well, comporting herself as one should. As expected. As expected. She goes, See ya. You are, uh, have brought me information? Delivery is promised. Delivery is promised. She takes it from you and then pays you what the. Eagle Talons will be paid for the delivery. Uh, in future, if Benevolent Lynn is ever in a position where she is able to get one of these and bring it to us, please know that she is trusted completely by myself. Understood. This Understood. information will be added to the orders. will be added to the orders. Okay. As you step outside, um, the lovers you've had in the past, are they... Um, do they go from kind of regular folk and Wu Lin, or do you stay in one one side or the other? I can't hear any of that. I can't hear any of that. Oh, the um, the lovers you've had in the past are they strictly from the Wu Lin, or are they from regular people as well? Um, I imagine that like, I imagine that, like none of them were ever very serious, very but he just kind of found, himself, found himself in himself places himself over places time. So over sometimes time. it's Wu Lin, sometimes, sometimes it's Lin, normal sometimes people, it's normal people, but. Okay. It never really goes too never deep really and never stays, too and long. never stays too long. Yep. Um, Hellby is someone you were with a while ago. Like you open up the door and she's standing there with like very large eyes. She was she was a lot of fun. She often kind of entered into the uh, less legal side of things. Uh, she was someone who was not averse to getting herself into a little bit of trouble here and there, and actually was was fairly competent at it at times. Uh, but someone who was, I think, you think much more attached to you necessarily than you were to her. Um, I, I don't know. Would you think you would look on her fondly? Together, but I lost the question at the end. Would you like the end? Would you like? Oh no. Oh, did I, did I cut out for you? Yeah, you just hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hold on. I'm gonna try to. Are your brothers doing Are something? Your brothers doing something. Man, we need to get him his connection he had back when we uh, were playing. Under Seriously. Under. Seriously. It's rough. It's rough. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well. Orin, can you hear us? Oh, no, no. Just pitch him and buy one of them long ass coins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Nope. He gone. He gone. Oh, damn it. Well. Well, so all our characters well, sit well, drinking, tea, characters while sit drinking tea while waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A strange we'll, amount we'll, of we'll time. See, we'll see when he pops, <laughs> pops back in. Um, do you go the next day, um, Pale Orca, do you go to see the Scholar? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Did we ever come up with a name for the sword? No, we didn't. No. Um, I, we um, could. Since his name is could. Grievous Dis... Well, I, I don't know if you have an no, idea, but I, 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 I kind of have a, a bit of one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, but I kind of want to find what was the uh, ancient Chinese uh, measurement of distance. I'm going to Google. I don't know if it'll bring ancient up something useful. Chinese. Ancient Chinese. The Li is also known as the Chinese mile. Is a traditional Chinese unit of distance. Um, the Li. The could, Li. Because his name was um, Grievous Distance. Gr Grievous yeah. Distance. Yeah. So I thought something along the lines of um, the cruelest Lee. The cruelest Lee. That's I like good. It. Or something. Like some, something along those lines. Oh, coronary cool. back. Oh, coronary back. Yeah, I I think yeah, it's just going, going to be horrific. Going to be horrific. Um, but um, we'll soldier on because the other on, signal just doesn't connect at all. And this one is the only one everybody's connected to, and even more people are home than usual. So. Oh no. Is that is that something that changes when school starts? Yeah. Or. Within yeah. the next okay. couple well, weeks, it'll resolve itself. Oh, great. Itself. Okay. I know. Oh, my, my school starts next Tuesday. Mm. Oh, yikes. Uh, I don't know where the hell the summer went. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll finish with Orin here real quick. Um, yes, yeah, so... the I don't, I don't know how much you heard, but... Um, you kind of described um, her, kind of and then you got to, like, a question. Um, like a and I caught, like, every other oh, yeah, word like of the description, so I have a decent idea of what you were going for, you but going you asked a question, and the question was just gone. The question was just gone. Okay, um, Hyobai, were you, would you look fondly on her or not? Um, um, I don't think I've ever, like, parted on like bad parted terms on with bad everybody, terms with or anybody. with anybody, so, so like, anybody, they're, so all they're all decent friends. Decent friends. So you can hit it again if you need to. Oh, just like that, like. <laughs> just like that, like. <laughs> like, you just keep it casual. You just keep it casual. Yeah. 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 Um, you open up and Hyobai is sitting there and she's got like kind of like like wide eyes. It looks like she's maybe seen a downturn on her luck. Um, Lone Sparrow, I, I saw you going through the streets and I mean, it's been several years, but uh, things are difficult right now. I, I could use some help. I'm happy to help how I can. I'm happy to help how I can. Just... Do you remember the... Uh, Do you remember the scheme I played on the merchant in uh, in Stone, what Stone Drop City? Was that the one where you were gold plating silver coins, or was that the one where you started switching wheels on carts? Wheels on carts. Yes. <laughs> yeah, both of those actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been working with a local merchant and. Um, I, I am I am owed I, I owe some money that I I am unable to get and I was hoping if you who I mean your very presence alone would likely he's not someone who's ever dealt with with you know people like you so. I am. So, if I'm getting this straight, you want me straight. to want me go to intimidate a man you owe money to. Man you owe money to. If you would do that, I would owe you so much, and you know how well I can pay. Just not this gentleman. Just not this gentleman. True. Well, money is not always the coin that I'm most fond of, particularly when it comes to you. How much money do how you owe him? How much money do you owe him? Well, it's enough that the right person comes and speaks to him. He'll look the other way. I. He's mostly looking to put some pressure upon. Upon me to get involved in some things in the city, some schemes and such, I'd rather not. I guess my question is, what did you do to rack up this kind of... This isn't a conversation for a street. She goes, the scheme did not work this time as well as I'd hoped. Your luck's finally run out. Your luck's finally run out. Well, it's run out before, but uh, this time, I've I'm kind of enjoying living here. It's a nice, it's a beautiful city, and I've cut in pretty well. Would you be able to come speak to him? I'm trying to figure, I'm like, decide if, like, I owe her yes, anything, like, or if, like, anything or if, like, <laughs> like, there's a reason to do the like, favor outside of just, like, personal commitment. Personal commitment. 
Um, it's, I mean, it's, one thing it could be if this is someone that you still look back on very fondly and maybe yeah. had some uh, rather fun adventures uh, with. More, more. I can't get. I can't get. And more than likely. And more than likely. Won't make it so that you pay nothing, so but. Nothing, but. No, I, I do have some. I, I just can't pay him back the full amount. Knowing merchants knowing in general, and how you're general, the people you usually scheme with, the amount he's asking for is more than likely exorbitant. We'll see what I can do. See what I can do. Thank you so much. I, I if you have time now, I, I can show you where he is at. Just kind of looks kind of back looks towards everything. Back towards everything. It hefts the little amount of gold he got paid for the, uh, paid for the delivery. Uh, Delivery. All right, lead the way. Okay, um, it's actually ter not terribly far uh, from here. There's the kind of a, a well-to-do merchant's house um, that's not terribly far from where the Resplendent Phoenix uh, headquarters is. Uh, so it takes you up. There's some guards there. They let you in, and there's a, a man who is dressed in like like os ostentatious finery. Comes down first. He sees Kelby. He goes. Please tell me you have... And then looks over at you and is like, Oh, what are you? Here to intimidate me? I'm sorry, say again. The, Who are you, say sir? Again, the, I'm sorry, say again. I lost that. Say again. Oh, I lost who, that. Who are you, sir? My name is Lone Sparrow's Wake. Lone Sparrow's Wake takes a moment at you and looks at you and goes you would be you remember the Wulin that is correct sir that is correct sir are you part of one of the societies or the houses or the clans or whatever you call yourselves I'm currently a member of the Eagle's Talon of the Eagle's Talon his eyes go wide at that he looks over at her and goes you might be in luck. And then back to you. Sir, if I may speak with you a moment, this might be able to be... Um, this debt might be able to be taken care of with just a bit of talk. That's what I That's intend on. what I intend on. Talking is, you know, talking talking is the best method of most best things. Method of most things. He, heads, he kind of like heads into a room off the side. It's clearly a room where he does a lot of business. And comes around and he's like, he'll buy if you could leave us to speak. And he turns to you and he's like, would you like some wine? Um, um, like I've got a little I've bit of business bit sense. Of is business this like the kind of, like, is this, like is this the kind of thing like it is respectable to all, like take what your host gives you kind of, you kind of thing? Yes, because I mean, it, it's, it's, when, when it's wine, it sort of means uh, if, if it's tea, it's sort of much more like above board business. Wine is a little more social, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like you don't think he's probably looking at a business deal for you because he can hire the Eagle Talents yeah. normally. Yeah. And, and even if it was, so like if, if if it was one of those things, it'd be off the books. Got it. But Got it doesn't it. seem like he's he doesn't have a business look to him at this moment. Yeah. All right, that All right. that I can do. Okay. Just can then, do. and he goes kind of closes the door and pours some wine for you. Sits down. He goes, "You're an eagle talent. I'm, I'm sure you're aware of what has recently transpired." Uh, lots of. Uh, and that uh, depends on what news you mean. It is quite a big mean. city, and I'm big rather big new to this, rather new area. To this area. The head, area. The head of the eagle talons is apparently stepping down. My concern is, I have done a good amount of work with the eagle talon. My particular businesses often require us to rent the services of good fighters to make sure things get where they're supposed to go. However, I don't know m I don't know much about the specifics of the Wulin outside of this particular town, but I do know that the Fallen Leaves Society and Resplendent Phoenix Society, both of which have a fairly strong handhold here, are going to be fighting as much as they can in order to take over. If they take over, the chances of me working with Eagle Talons again is going to be fairly low. Mm -hmm. So, the information I'm looking for, which may alter how some of my business goes, do you know 
what way things are heading. In what regard? In what regard? Do you have any idea? Within the city, I couldn't within tell the you. City, I couldn't within tell the you. within the talon, it's no within small talent, secret. It's no small secret. I would consider our mutual friend's debt paid entirely. If you were to warn me at some point, if either the Falling Leaves Society or the Resplendent Phoenix Society seem to be gaining enough favor in the eyes of Gallon Eagle, because what I, I can alter some business practices beforehand, but I'd rather keep my businesses as they were. There's more money in it. And neither of them look very fondly upon what I do. And, hmm, and, hmm. and it's not my business to ask what you do, but it seems that you've laid out a proposition that's favorable to the two of us. Excellent. Are you in Magnificent Inc. for some time? For the foreseeable future. For the foreseeable future. Kind of nods and, and reaches out a hand. I take his hand. I take his hand. Okay. I am Haushuren. If you need something, call upon me. I may on occasion check with you to see if you know anything further. I don't need to know necessarily large secrets of it, but if you believe they are heading either towards one of those two, if you can let me know, it's a huge benefit to me and also to your friend. I'll need your name, I'll sir. Your name, if we sir. are to talk again. I'm Haushuren. 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 I shall keep your business in mind as the days unfold. The days unfold. And if you're looking for work, please come by. If if my current contract expires, you will be the first on my list. Be the first on my list. He smiles. We occasionally have some small things that need done around the city. He opens up the door. Hell, bye. Looks like you're in luck. As long as your friend here does not leave too quickly, we may call your debt paid. She looks incredibly thrilled at this. Is there anything I may get for you, sir? If, if our business is concluded, our business then... Is concluded. I'm more than likely just be on my way for now. Be on my way for now. Excellent. If you need something, call on House Shurin. And if you should find yourself in need of my help, then the branch of the Talon should be able to contact me. I'll keep that in mind. All right then. Then if that's done, I'm going to take a bye and take our leave of this. Take our leave of this. Cowboy is just like, oh, thank God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything I can do to make this right by you, I swear I will do. Just, just. If you like it here, don't start like grifting here, again. Don't start grifting again. I can only pull this off so many, so many times, and I think my goodwill in the city won't last forever. Last forever. She's, she's got that like that look. She's like, I. I have an opportunity. If I were to make it my last. <sighs> you make it sound like... It sound I, like I have heard those words heard again, those words and again, again and again and again. And again. It's, again never the last. it's never the last. She sort of smiles and takes your arm and she's like... It's never the last, but you know, you know me. I mean it to be. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes. So, right. What is it this time? What just kind of like, and that kind of like ends the scene as they stroll off. Yep. <laughs> and Pale Orchid. Hello. Hello. So, uh, Zan Q is. The house you go to is extremely nice. Uh, and when you go in, um, she is the head of the house, mm. looks not to be married. Uh, when you come in, like, there, there's a large amount of book, like, like, the library. Um, as you are let in, is gigantic off to the side. You know, like, the door is open. You can see a, a number of tables with things on them. And very shortly, Zen Q uh, comes out and kind of takes a look. Um, she's like, Yes, you wish to see me. Yes, I was told, yes, that, you I was told that you have information. 
on very knowledgeable on about very weapons, knowledgeable about weapons. Including, legendary weapons. including legendary weapons. Yes, I've actually made quite a study of of the, the legendary weapons of the Wulin. Uh, she uh, nods and says, nods uh, and says uh, "Then uh, I hope you don't mind if I'm, I'm very frank, very but do you, you have any information?" Have any about, about uncursing weapons. She sort of smiles. She's like, oh, well, "Come with me. Would you like some tea?" Uh, she uh, like there's like a vision about the like shit place that she just stayed in, and she's like, "Yes, I would very much like some tea. Thank you." Certainly. And she turns to a servant and she's like, "Get some tea, please. We'll be in the library." And they come in, and as you sort of come in, you can actually see that there are um, a number of, of swords, not like legendary mm. ones, but very nice swords, sort of, and other weapons that are around the area, the, the, around the place. I think I think there's a cut, think, think like as they're cut, walking through this like, place and like, weapons, place, are shown, weapons are shown, I think there's a cut to, um, to the, uh, the uh, Heavenly, Sword Heavenly Sword headquarters where people are training people and like, are training and, like the, same the same amount of weapons that you see on all the walls are being put to use in training and things. Yeah. And the places are just like, e it's like, just like quite equally like, nice quite in like nice their aesthetics. Because they're both very fancy places. Yeah, you can, you can tell, like, 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 her thing is these kinds of weapons. Yeah. Though they're not used yeah. the way yours were. Mm. And she takes a seat. Um, as far as I'm aware, a weapon becomes either legendary or corrupt by the hand of the person who, who wields it. Uh, someone with an evil heart will turn a weapon into something, a well-made well weapon, into something rather vile. There have been a few tales, and the, the actual reliability of these are mixed. We don't have any specific histories that we can say for certain, but the there have been some tales of some uh, even base weapons that have been raised up. But generally it is the well-crafted ones that have an opportunity to become either these legendary weapons in the hand of an amazing uh, martial artist, or something that is quite cursed. I'm unaware of any way to remove a curse. If someone wielded it who could somehow do great things but eclipse the person who had it once, a possibility, but that is, of course... They say these weapons want what they want. Why do you ask? Um, she, uh, um, she, uh, says, uh, she says, I hope you don't I mind me don't mind me keeping all of my intentions, of my intentions secret, just that I have just a vested have interest. interest. No, so the, so the sword that you have, is it covered or is it, um, it's, can, can um, you see like the hilt? It's around her waist, and her waist, like and whenever she's like, moving and stuff, she has like a hand stuff, just under the uh, just under the pommel, and I don't think it's covered up or anything. Um, she will okay. like like it's not particularly on not show, particularly I guess. On show, like I, I guess. think the um like, I think the, um, like its fancy sheath is like bound up in like a cloth, like so like it's not overtly so visible. Not but not like on like close inspection or just like looking at it for a little while, you can like tell. Okay. Um, at which point, uh, did you want to go with Cruelest Lee or something? I else? like Cruelest Lee. <laughs> I like Cruelest Lee. Okay. Um, just your sword. Might I see it? Uh, she looks at all the swords uh, on the uh, around, around the room and is says and is, um, says. Um, says um, and she hesitates for a little while and she says. For a little um, while and she says. Um, Please, please be respectful. Be and then she she takes it out and just like offers it. Okay. Yeah. So at this point, I'm gonna check something because I she's going to attack me with it. Yay! No, she's I mean, she's clearly she's clearly not of the yeah. Lin. Yeah. I think the funny thing was is, is somewhere I made some notes about something that the sword had done, and it's not in my my little bit of notes for the one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, look, I'm looking for it. I where the hell I put mm. it. Because um, I don't have a lot of notes I needed for tonight. Um, I'm 
put it? A anyway, I'll, I, I, I vaguely remember. Oh, no, that, that's where I put it. Okay, um, she takes it very gingerly and looks at it, and the breath kind of goes out of her. Mm. Mm. The sword was carried by grievous distance. Many people were subjugated under th this blade. How did... How did you come to find it? He's supposed to be dead, but... You don't seem to be... That powerful. Unless you're... I mean, you might be hiding, but... This is... This sword is... Created to corrupt. Um, um, yeah, she says, uh, she like says, I said, uh, I'm, like I not said I'm not very willing to very tell willing you anything specific, specific, but, specific, but I'm, not I'm not affiliated with whoever owned with this. Whoever owned this. Okay. She looks at you, she's... According to the stories, this sword could grow to a great length. Give its wielder great power. Every moment you hold this, it'll eat away at your heart. A cursed weapon like this is... only exists to turn you to its own deeds. So you're saying there's nothing? So you're saying there's nothing? There's nothing I've ever heard of, and I... If you go through all the way through this city, you will not find a greater scholar on the history of the special weapons of the Wulin than I have. I think she sighs slightly she and, sighs says, slightly um, and says, um, if I can't fix it, then I, I can keep it, it out of hands of others who would want to use it. Many might come. This, as she sort of takes a look at it, this entered into the registry of the Wulin when it was used to kill a defeated foe who was beaten. And generally, I mean, this is something that we all, you all would know, that, and we mentioned it before, but in, it's usually considered uh, an enemy can be redeemed mm. or show themselves later. So killing someone outside of, like, the worst members of some of the banes of Wulin is generally considered uh, dishonorable. There are exceptions, of course. And some people will fight to the death, but most people escape battles uh, alive, at least. Defeated, but alive. He killed Fourth Diving Crow. Uh, tremendous battle, great honor was shown in it, and when he was beaten, Grievous Distance drove his sword through a mountain and through Fourth Diving Crow's body, then pulled it forth, killing him. That's the first legend we have, and he and Diving Crow were at one point friends. Be careful. Do, uh, is... Do, uh, is sorry, was it something sorry, Diving Crow? It something Diving Crow. Fourth Diving, fourth diving Crow? Crow. Uh, fourth is, diving is, crow. is Fourth uh, Diving Crow's, like, is name, like, crow's like, like, known, like, like, known, like, known are they known as a, like a famous person or well, someone of note? Uh, fourth, yeah, Fourth Diving Crow, uh, you've heard of him before, was, um, all, I mean, sort of like your uncle before, um, I mean, your uncle's great deeds before he became mm. who he was uh, have almost been eclipsed by that. But Fourth Diving Crow was uh, a hero of the Wu Lin, decent, like, well-known, he's got his deeds. Not, uh, not absolutely world-shaking, but a respected... Mm. Respected mm. warrior. She frowns and, she frowns um, and like um, stares off a little like bit. Stares off a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. um, and just and under her breath, just like, her just breath like, like just like barely audible, she barely says. Audible, um, she says um, why, uncle? Why, uncle? And then uh, and she, then, looks uh, at, she looks at. She um, looks Zan and Zan Q and uh, like Zanku extends her hand slightly. Her hand slightly. Like, mm -hmm. may I have the sword back? 
And she, there, there, there's a part of you can tell that just wants to sort of keep it so she can check it out. Um, I get, it's sort of, but she hands it back, and she's like, "This likely belongs somewhere set away." Maybe, maybe. Um, she just sits there, like, sits there like a bit awkwardly. Um, um, and then, uh, sorry, you were gonna say it. Sorry, you were gonna say it. No, go ahead. Uh, yeah, she says, um, yeah, she says, um, do you know about, I fucking can never remember the name, the Fire Doctrine or whatever Yeah, the Fire Doctrine. Do you know anything about the Fire Doctrine relating to this sword? This sword. Related to the sword, um, the fire doctrine was not new. I mean, not post the time of this, but they were not active in the same places as Grievous Distance was, as far as we know. Um, do you don't have any information on the fire doctrine in this weapon? Uh, uh she um she seems she, a bit um, hesitant, but says, hesitant, um, says I encountered one um, yesterday. I encountered one yesterday. They started a fire over at the Fallen Leaf Society, the and they society said they knew they this sword, knew and the fought sword. beside the person who used it. Remember the fire? What was his name? Uh, Red Eagle. Red Eagle. She sort of nods, she's like, I will look what I can find. The fire doctrine was not not as well documented. They, they're outsiders in many respects, so... Many people don't know. We don't know a lot about them. Uh, she nods. Uh, she nods. Um, and says. Um, um, and says. Um, uh, yeah, I think. I think she's. Yeah, uh, I, think, I think she's. Uh, she looks a little bit defeated, but still defeated, determined, but still and says. Um, and says um, I should get out of your I way. Should get out um, of your way. Um, <sighs> thank you for everything. Thank you. Certainly, please. Um, see me again if you have questions. She nods, and uh, she nods. and uh, I think she. Uh, I didn't. Yes. She, uh, yes. I never received. I never got your name. Yeah, she pauses, yeah, she pauses for a long time and then says, um, and says, "Pale orchid." Pale orchid. Pale orchid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you have any other information, please. I'm fascinated by these things, so. Please see me. Uh, she, nods uh, she nods and, uh, gets, up and, uh, and then, uh, gets up and then uh, she goes to leave uh, and she, goes she does this quite a lot. She, she turns around lot. again and then, says, again um, and then says, um, if you have any work, that, have would any work that would be greatly appreciated. And then she bows and then and goes, then to leave. Bows and then goes to leave. I might. Uh, where can I contact you? Um, um, insert name of the shittiest inn in the world the here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that she kind of gives you a bit of a bow, and then you take off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, when's the next time the three of you, do you three of you come together that afternoon, or? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, maybe, I like, mean, I've maybe, mentioned like, to I've all mentioned of you, like, hey, you come like, to my mom's hey, tea shop. Mom's tea shop. Yeah, like, that's, like, that's the idea. That's yeah. Idea. Yeah. So maybe... We, would there, so maybe, would there be free tea? Yeah, yeah. I said like I'll, 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 I'll a cup on the house to, to, for to traveling companions. Traveling companions. Yeah, Cal's got to get me the rest of the scheme, so we've got to go somewhere. Got to go somewhere. It's a nice place. It's a nice place. Um, why don't we just call it uh, uh, the decadence of autumn? Decadence of autumn. It was something like that. Yeah, it was, it was the something of autumn, and it was really ostentatious. Um, do you want to just put that in Trello really quick? Can I put it in Trello? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm doing. I've, I've never used Trello. <laughs> I, I put a thing into... Um, I pin, it's on the, the Discord. Yep. yep. I'm in Trello. I'm in Trello. I was just saying, I don't know how to add things to the Trello. The nice thing is, um, Trello... Uh, at your mother's tea house? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, there's just little cards that go, and this is one thing where if you got some, if you have some notes on something, what you could do is just click on it, and it'll give you like 
like add comments. You can put those on stuff like that. I just put the decadence of autumn mm-hmm. in there. Mm-hmm. I've got them split up by um, stuff about the grievous distance. There will be times I put up stuff that's um, will be coming up, but usually not the big deal. I'll have the other stuff on my notes. But um, yeah, so I'm keeping the information on Magnificent Eight, Eagle Talons, Resplendent Phoenix, the Falling Leaf Society, Grievous Uncle, and the Fire Doctrine right now. So this will mostly be used for characters and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Makes it easy to just kind of double check and see things. All right, so the Decadence of Autumn. Yeah, it's like um, yeah, it's a two-storied like, um, uh, tea house. Uh, tea house. Um, really nice. Really um, nice. Um, it's, it's a classy it's, joint. It's a classy joint. Um, mm-hmm. But it's but it's two it's, stories, but not huge. Stories, but it's not, not a sprawling huge. thing. Sprawling um, there's thing. maybe like there's maybe like five small tables on the first floor, the first and, then floor and then like another four like on top on, on the second on level. The second um, level. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Don't know how much detail needs to go into that. It's just like, like a very nice place. There's like maybe just one other person who helps besides Plum Blossom's mother. Who I I had a name for her. Maybe just um, uh, it was something oak. Um, if you remember it, I'll, I'll, I'll we can yeah. to the Discord. Yeah. So yeah, I bet know there's one other employee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a place for you perhaps that afternoon for some lunch or some tea. Yeah. 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 Um, they yeah. serve like um, snacks. They serve, like, snacks. They're not really like a full not, meal like, place. Full meal place. But snacks. But snacks. Um, I serve you all the tea. I serve you like, all the tea. I probably like, pull a few shifts there every, every now and then just to help out. Now and then just to help out. Um. So I know I know where everything so I know, is. I know where everything is. Um, what tea do you um, all what want? What tea do you all want? <laughs> yeah, like I'm I'm at the like, I'm, like recommendation I'm, of the house. Recommendation that one. of the house. That one. Jasmine, it is. Jasmine, it is. Like, like, not. We have her own or is that very yeah. English? Yeah, like, yeah, like I, I like, yeah, I'm like Jasmine. It is, and like I'm not gonna give you the nicest stuff because I know you won't appreciate it. <laughs> this is Lipton's ice, <laughs> or Lip Piton. God, no, I'm not. I'm not giving you shit. <laughs> Just not the nice stuff. Nice, nice. nice. Nice it's one of those things like he's probably you know, had like, nice probably tea for business nice meetings, but with the amount of road like travel, of road tea travel, has become tea hot has liquid become in a cup. Hot liquid in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so there's always so like there's, always, there's like, like, like a culture of like people like with wine and things like that who people who, like who think they know like who know it alls and like really snitchy about it who drink like like a really like expensive stuff but like the actually like super refined tea drinkers drink like the slightly less expensive stuff and slightly like more less like obvious stuff. Have you heard the studies that? Have you heard the studies that they apparently don't really know what they're talking yeah. about? Yeah. What? Yeah. The wine what? connoisseurs. The wine connoisseurs actually can't tell if they on blind taste tests what something mm. is. Oh my god! My parents are huge wine snobs. I need to find this. <laughs> it's hilarious. My my parents went through a wine phase. I don't know if they're still in it, but they at least were. My parents have a wine cellar. They are. It's never ending. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, she anyway, picks the actually so yeah, good stuff. Like she used to like stuff. come from like, like a super like refined background, super and recently, oh, so not really not the most expensive. You you get the actual good stuff. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, like not the most overtly the stuff, not the stuff for the snobs, but the stuff for like the people who actually appreciate it. Yeah, like I give you a smile, very discerning. Indeed. Um, it's probably like a super delicate white tea that can only be harvested like two weeks out of the year. Um, and did your friend come? Um, um, you know what? Sure, for hilarity's sure, sake. Uh, yeah, like I make an introduction. Yeah, like, I make an introduction. Uh, and what would you like to drink, man? What would you like to drink, man? I'm gonna fill my drink real quick. I'll be, right. I'll, I'll be, I'll be listening while you're doing this. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> like it'll be a bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember, yeah, yeah. Less than that. Really. Let's assume she wants swill. <laughs> she's probably got refined. Do you have any alcoholic tea? <laughs> mainly because she's a nonsensical scammer. So. Mm. I yeah. imagine that she's a wine connoisseur, like a tea connoisseur, in the same way that a wine forger is a wine connoisseur. <laughs> Yeah, like she knows the good stuff because she's tried to sell stuff as that stuff before. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm also. Yeah. I'm also. Oh, like, oh did, yeah, I'm also did you did you bring her with you? Too? Yeah, that's yeah. what we were saying. <laughs> that's what we're saying. <laughs> oh, that's. I hilarious. couldn't find the narrative <laughs> reason to drop her off. Oh, that's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and so we're, yeah. we're speculating that so she knows what the good stuff is because she has scammed people trying to pass trying off drink as, as the good stuff before. As the good stuff before. <laughs> yeah, she, I mean, she, and she, yeah, she kind of knows what the what the stuff you probably should be having um, if you actually know your things. Scams teach you stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, you can't be stupid I, in a con artist. Nope. Nope. Well, you can, but you're not going <laughs> to <laughs> yes, yeah, so overall very impressed yeah, overall with, very with my impressed friends. With, with my friends. Um, um, so, is this so all of your first times in Magnificent Inc? Uh, how, how are you liking our city? Our city. Was that directed at me or who? Or uh, the group. Just uh, like. Group. Just like. Just, I haven't seen you all here before, I and I spend before, and most I of my time here. Most of my time here. Uh, I think uh, she takes think, a sip uh, of his tea and is, and is just like, just like, just like melts like into her melts seat slightly, into her seat slightly and, and says, um, "The, stories, says, don't really uh, the stories don't really do it justice." No, they really no, don't. They really don't. I can understand feeling. I can understand feeling overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. In awe. In awe. Unimpressed. Unimpressed. <laughs> There's many options. There's many options. It is very lovely. It is very lovely. Thank you. I'm glad Thank you think so. I'm glad you what think about so. you, Lone what Sparrow? What about you, Lone Sparrow? Have your it's, travels taken you here before? Have taken you here before? I... Hmm. I... No longer than a day. No longer than a day. Just staying Just at the branch and then leaving the out. and then leaving out. It's a bit... It's a bit... Much. Much. <laughs> I can see how one would grow used to it. one would grow used to it. It does take some does adjustment, take some that, is adjustment. Absolutely that is certain. Absolutely certain. <laughs> uh, I hope that uh, I hope you're that able to adjust quickly this time, adjust time, although... This time, although... Things weren't like this the last time over like here. Time I, mean, here. I, I mean, I suppose... What with the eagle tell and everyone is a bit on edge. Though I guess that just gives me more work, so I shouldn't complain. So I shouldn't complain. I'm gonna take a real quick step on the balcony because apparently a tornado is somewhere nearby. Are you sure it's not a uh, first, uh... Uh, first, uh... No, no, there was one scene, like, south of Rantoul, which is, that's where, that's where I teach, but that's about 10, 15 miles away. Is that okay. the opposite of what you're supposed to do in a tornado? Well, no, he wants to see if it's out on the horizon, not... Nah. Yeah, I, I just want to take a look at the weather. I'm a Midwesterner, so we don't usually run to, to cover until, like, we... Yeah. Yeah, we get to yeah, sort of sirens all the time. Go ahead. Sort of sirens all the Go ahead. We'll just we'll just flash out. We'll just flash out. Guys, I'm in the eye of a storm. I gotta check this out. <laughs> Was this uh, anyway. hometown? Was this anyway? Yeah, yeah. I... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we might um, need to make a lie check. A lie check. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, because uh, like, yeah. lying's a skill, it, like, ain't, it? Huh. skill it, ain't it, huh? Is it? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, -huh. uh, -huh. uh -huh. Remember, uh -huh. it's either Wu Wei or Stealth, the lie. The lie? Okay. Uh, let me take a look uh, let me in take here. Look in here. Oh yeah, because I can use Wu Wei to like detect that shit. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Let's see. Stealth is the skill saying concealing the truth. So stealth would be my role. And then um. And then um. I did meet my neighbors next door. I've got new ones. Oh nice. Oh nice. Because they were out on their balcony. So did you see the thing? It looks fine right now. Nice. Hey, um, I'm trying to lie about my hometown because this isn't my hometown because I grew up in the capital because I'm royalty. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Is Wu Wei what he would use to sense my lie? To sense my lie. Um. Yeah, I mean, we won't know where you're from. He might get the thing that something's a little bit off. If you want to make a, uh, yeah, Wu Wei against that, and for you, uh, stealth is to uh, conceal the truth, right? Yep. So we're yep. rolling. Yep. 
I got match six is twenty six plus five thirty one. I got nothing. Hell yeah! But well, what's your uh, Wu Wei? What's your Wu Wei? My Wu Wei is ten. I think it is. Ah, uh, so you have a twenty eight to my thirty three, or, or to my uh thirty one. So but you're I close. Can use, use, can I use um? Can I use, um a just to a up just a dice, up the number of dice. dice. You, you, you have to do that before you Fuck. roll. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I don't detect anything. This T has me enamored. I'm not detecting anything right now. Yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, yes, I, I grew up here. Um, spent my whole life here until I started to travel to make my trade, as I'm sure you both are aware. The same scenery can grow tired after a time. Huh. So, are you both going to be able to find work? You sounded, especially for you, Pale Orchid, I'm, I feel like I've heard you, even in the corner of my mind, asking for work here and there. There's been lots of maybes. Well, if you need any definites, let me know. I can put in a good word. Yes. There was a there was a man, I think it was Mournful Ghost, who did look like there was some obvious work for me. Well, I'm glad then. Who is Mournful Ghost? He was from the Falling Leaves. I think you had an altercation with him. He was the one in the mask. He seemed playful. Playful. <laughs> like Sparrow's eyes Sparrow's narrow and he takes a longer narrow, drink of tea. <laughs> What's the matter, Sparrow? What's the matter, Sparrow? I thought that business was behind us. I thought us. that business was behind <laughs> us. Uh, still. Uh, still. You don't forget getting don't kicked through a wall. Oh, my God, I didn't oh, know he did that. You went through a window. <laughs> 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 big, big it up, it's push like, no, I was pushed, up, through, like, like, I was pushed through like eight walls, but I'm still walls, standing, I'm still alive. What is a window but the what softest part of a wall? Part of wall. <laughs> <laughs> as Confucius <laughs> says. <laughs> yeah, I was about to ask, like, are you okay? Please let that have been your canon response. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking writing that oh, down, that's amazing. That down. That's amazing. God. God. What um, is a uh, well, I, well, I. It doesn't look like you were harmed at all. Like he was. All. He seems like he the playful was, sort. Like the playful <laughs> sort. Was he the one who tried to take your scroll? Tried to take your scroll? I can't say tried as he succeeded. Ah, he was the one who took your scroll. He was the one who took your scroll. Not even mine, but. So he took a scroll That's that didn't. Sort of it. Hmm. Hmm. I can see why that would be upsetting, that absolutely. Would be upsetting, absolutely. I hope I didn't worsen things. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. More than likely, won't have to deal with him again. You! You! Hmm. Should I put in a referral for you? I know of some people who might be able to help you. At least just talk about... Talk about... You're the taciturn sort of fellow, aren't you? Like Sparrow blinks a couple of times because he's not exactly sure what that word means. <laughs> uh, take a long sip. Take a long look at your friend. Look at your friend. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't believe I caught your name yet. I caught your name yet. Oh, I am. Um, as he double checks the name, um, <laughs> uh, let me also put her on the thing. Um, Jung Q. No, not Zonq. Um, Xiao Bai. Xiao Bai. Xiao Bai. Lovely to make your Zen is written on one of these. Written on one of these. Uh, that's the um the the, 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 the the oh you might have been disconnected oh, for that part. That was the part. official who's leaving. Maybe Ink, who was my client. Who was my client? I just put her name on the thing. Who will buy? Who will buy? I'm gonna try to refresh, but this thing doesn't like me. Uh, yeah, Xiao Bai. Yeah. How by? How by? How by? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. How by? And I stage whisper. And I stage whisper. Is he always this glum? Is he always this glum. 
<laughs> I found a few ways to cheer him up. Oh, oh, oh. oh shoot! Actually, archives card. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that he has joviality in his life. <laughs> Super lewd wink. 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 Wow. Extremely uncomfortable with all of these proceedings. I'm sorry, Lone Sparrow. It's just really fun to tease you. I hope you understand that. I I do not mean to actually make you uncomfortable. Please let me know if I am. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You know, when someone says you know, when that, someone they mean, says that, it's, they not mean fine, it's not fine, but I'm afraid of saying what I actually want to say. Or at least, is what I've learned. Yes, that's about where we are. <laughs> well, we have only known no, no, Okay. <laughs> I kind of want to try to inflict a kind of condition on him. him. <laughs> what, what condition? Um... Just like, um, just like, um, <laughs> um, what, like, what's like, okay, enamored, but just like for friends. <laughs> like, I want him to, like, want to be my friend. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause, like, he's fun to tease, and, like, he's an earnest boy, and, like, he's trying his best. <laughs> Or at least, you know maybe open? Maybe oh, open, yeah. is maybe open is a good one. And this is like, is it normal to like try and inflict these on other player characters? Um, usually you want to put it for more, um, like bigger reasons. Okay, that. fair enough. Then I won't call for that. Those are things that will, you know, like eventually they'll have an opportunity to get rid of. Sure. Um, Sure. Okay, well, that I won't for now. Okay, well, Plus, if, if you don't do a stealth, they can kind of tell you're be they're being manipulated. Yeah, things. yeah, for sure. I mean, it might yeah. work, but it's it's realizing, oh, you're being all... Manipulative and <laughs> creepy, yeah. Creepy, yeah. Do it anyway. Do no! no! Uh, I think, I think I've gotten what I want out of this scene. I think, um, as, as, like, conversation goes on and it dies down a little bit, I think, um, Pale Orchid, like... Takes a very long sigh and says, <sighs> "I probably won't get work any other way today." So, you said you have work. Um, yeah, of course. Uh, one second, I go like behind the counter, talk to my mom really quick. Um, like, you can get an okay day's pay if you just do some simple um, prep work on the food. The short staff today. The short staff today. Her eye twitches just a little bit, and she's just like, "Okay," and then she gets up and like, "Help." <laughs> Is that sort of thing I need to spend Joss for to like create the story thing like that? What were you creating? Like, I just, like just like I wanted to create this employment opportunity for just like yeah, out nowhere. Nine, so would that nine, would that be spending chivalrous Joss to like create that sort of coincidence? Possible. What, what sort of employment? Um, just like if Pale Orchid needs to like do, like chop up vegetables, like make some dough for oh, that's dumplings. Minor, that's, just, that's minor enough. Yeah, okay. Very benign. I mean, it, it, that's already a part of something and part of your character. Okay. Like having someone come in for a little bit of extra money is not all that necessarily that strange. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And Oren, are you back with us? Or are we just getting a little bit of feedback from? Oh, I'm back. I found my charger. Okay. Everything's good. So close to about this point, while you guys are talking, the door opens. You kind of hear the bell. I'm assuming there's probably a bell. Wind chime, like, like a wind chime. It's very delicate. Yeah. <laughs> very delicate. Come in, and two men come in, uh, looking. I mean, clearly twins. The one's hair is like a much brighter shock of red than the others. The one whose hair is not quite as bright, as you kind of notice that they sit, that they uh, they take a seat. There is a bit of steam coming off of one of his hands, and then like a, almost a bit of frost as he grabs the tea. You see a tiny bit of frost appears on the rim. 
So the one without fi red hair has red like the frost coming off. Like a little, like off of one hand, like a little bit of steam, and off the other one, as he holds like the cup, you see a bit of frost appear on it. Is this the is this a man of Game of Thrones? Is this just like fire and fire and ice? <laughs> oh, Hello, my name is Stark Targaryen. Yeah, I think as soon as I see him, I flash like a hand signal that I've like established with my mom, like heads up, possible trouble. Yeah, no, she's like, um, her orchid immediately just like goes on edge because. She's had a run in with five She's people before. And it's probably not a coincidence. And as they're sat, and you basically you have your mom sort of stay back. Yeah, just like, just like, keep an eye out. Like, like, Wu Lin. Like, it's just like a flash of time for like, heads up, we got Wu Lin. Um, and like, not like, no, time to panic, but like, uh, get ready to like, you know, create an excuse to clear if you need to. Clear if you need to. There's a moment where they, they, they take a drink, and the one with the, the red hair says to his clearly brother, but loud enough to easily be heard at the table that you're sitting at. So someone witnessed a friend of ours last night in some action and threw a wrench into cogs that were best left to spin on their own. Yeah. So, you so, so Pale Orchid, so, uh, tell, me about, uh, tell me about... Tell me about... Where were you last? Like, just like fucking like ignoring them hardcore. Like, feeling the force of my ignoring them. Yeah, I think... Yeah. I think the Nespera is gonna kind of shoot a look to like this is not this is a look they have shared before to how to how to just basically yes everything's about to go south now is the time to make ourselves scarce. I'll catch up with you later. Oh, um, oh. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, Lil Terror. It was wonderful no, seeing no, you. Not talking to you, like oh, shooting oh, a glance to. Oh, oh, oh. Because, oh, oh, oh. like. Because, like. The, like, not ten, going to... the, like to fucking bounce look. <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, like. Like, th this is the look, like, like after somebody like, figures after out that the coins have been gold plated. Gold. Of, like, <laughs> yes, you need to remove yes, yourself you from this situation because I'm about to exhibit violence on people. God. God. Fuck. Pale Orchid is such a bitch. She's gonna just immediately just stand up and go over to them and just be like, was that person Red Eagle? Oh my god! Wait, that, does that give you like extra cultivation? Does that count for one of those? Um, I don't know if it's, um, in, uh, gains cultivation when she like endangers herself or like puts herself like, self, it's like a self-sacrifice oh, thing. Oh, hell yes, hell yeah. yes. Yeah, gain a, gain a point of cultivation towards your team. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. This, this is you going, well, let's make things in- In my mom's house! <laughs> And he, he he puts down the um, the drink that he had. Mm. What's up? He goes. Strangely enough, it was someone put themselves into a situation in which they perhaps should not have been. Now I'm certain if that person was smart enough in the future not to become involved. They would have no troubles. Now, 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 now. Now, now, now. now. This is a house of respect, house of and, respect peace and, and peace tranquility. and tranquility. And this is not a place for idle tavern gossip. Idle tavern How about gossip. we take this conversation take elsewhere, this conversation gentlemen? Elsewhere, gentlemen. Certainly. And I like her. I like heard them out. <laughs> uh, I'm just like through, through, like through a wink back at my mom. Like, eh, it's all good now. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Yeah, your mother looks a little concerned, but the, the 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 two of them they throw some coins onto the onto the table, and they stand and they head outside into the into the square. Great. 
You can see an obvious uh, expression on her face. She's questioning if she should go after them. Well, they're still here, right? They're outside, yeah. Oh, they, they, they just walked Oh, I, yeah, I've herded them outside, and I'm outside with them. Oh, you're outside with them. Yeah, I, like, I'm herding them outside and making sure they do not get the fuck back in. Then she would totally just follow up, though. Like, like just on the way out, like Sparrow just kind of looks at Plum and goes like, do, do you want the friends and family you discount, or do you have this one? Please enjoy your tea. Alright then. And like, I like pull you in, just like, just in case I get back in. Can do. Thank you. Give her a little friendly tap on the shoulder. Continues huh. drinking so, tea. <laughs> small, small, this more expensive cup more cannot expensive tell cup the. Cannot. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can tolerate some rude behavior, but that was completely disrespectful, and I expect you both to apologize for that uncouth behavior. Uncouth behavior. It kind of smiles and takes. Um, well, he smiled. The other one, like the, the one that's kind of got the, the steam and the. Uh, stuff coming off of his fist seems very sort of calm and silent as they're speaking. The other, the other one just sort of laughs. He goes, "You got yourself involved in some things you should not have gotten yourself involved in, like now, saving children from a fire." I know, so melodramatic to try to save children. It wasn't children you were saving. Mm. As far as we're aware, none of you were part of the Phoenix Respond the Phoenix Society or the Falling Leaves. No. No. Things are about to take a bit of a turn in this town. The best thing for you to do, you and your friends, are leave it be. You interfered once. <sighs> did they say that? Um, what imply that Red Eagle Eagle did something stupid? They have not. Because I, 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 um, I thought they said that one of their companions, one of their companions had, done had done something that should have been left to do it itself. No, that was, he was he was he was talking about you. Okay. It, it was clearly okay. it was it was loud enough and such it was meant that you okay. were hearing yeah, yeah. Okay. that it yeah, was yeah. like like some, so someone some, threw yeah, themselves yeah, in a situation some, which yeah. they should not have been. Okay. Uh, I don't know about you, Pale Orchid, but, but these gentlemen don't seem to be. Hmm. Hmm. Would you take advice from such rude fellows? Does this seem like an effective way to communicate what you truly believe? Uh. She's looking them up and down. Like, you, can we? Did, you said we could detect, like, like skill level. Level. Or like how good they are. Or like how good they are. Yeah, roughly you can kind of look at them and get a get an idea. Yeah. yeah. Can um, we get an idea of, of an their? Idea of, of there's their there's something about them, and I mean usually it's sort of like there's certain things you can do depending on their tactics. Like if if uh, to identify someone's if they're actually fighting, you can kind of tell what mm. the thing is by their rank. Mm -hmm. So I'll just say that you get you get the idea that they're roughly that they're, they're they're about the same rank as you. Okay. These, these there's, they don't seem to be of, of uh, third, or, third or above. They don't carry themselves in kind of the same way. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna like walk up very close to them, look them in the eye, give like a very small smile. I will forgive you this one time, if you leave immediately, but do not presume to tell me what my business is, ever, ever again. Leave. Leave. That strikes me as you're using the courtiers. I'm using something. To basically, to try to try to put a whammy on them. Yeah, uh, would that be inspire? I guess. Like. Yeah, I think you, you can actually do that as essentially a um, using your. Um, Courtier secret art, because that can be used sort of on the fly, like that. As you're, you're essentially you're, you'd be trying to put a condition on. Yeah, it. but I'd roll like plus yeah, inspire roll, like, for that. Inspire for that. Uh, the standard one for the courtier got is inspire. Is inspire. Yeah, for the courtier's art, the discovery uh, discovery skill is awareness. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
so that, that that's for you to see it. Manipulating it is inspiring. All right, yeah. I'm going to just fucking intimidate them. I'm going to just fucking intimidate them. Yep, so, yeah, so you'd add your awareness to my, it. No, my, my no, inspire my, to it. My inspire to it. Aw so, awareness um, is to defend it. Awareness is to defend it. Oh, uh, manipulation is... Still, let me double check unless I wrote down the wrong thing. Um, inspire lets you manipulate it. It looks like awareness lets you discover it. But let me check here real quick just to make sure I didn't get it wrong. If you want to switch around some stats, you can. Like, once it's discovered... So courtier's art... Yeah, just to discover it, which is what you're doing now, that's awareness. To discover is awareness? Discover is awareness? Yeah, discovering is awareness. Inspire is mani manipulating it. Confidence is resisting or recovering. Do you want to move So inspire to just moves things. Awareness has to, is to create a thing? Yeah, basically, if, if you can say, like, they're intimidated mm. by you, if you, mm. succeed, if you succeed, you create it in them. Okay, then I'll probably take... I'll probably take... Oh, this is hard. Um, I haven't performed a lot. I'll take five eye performance. Put that into awareness. Also, remember, you, you'd be able to put two, uh, two destiny to raise to your, um, to one of the ones you miss. Okay, yeah. So performance will go to five. Awareness will go to ten. Okay. If you want to raise that up, you'll probably be able to do it tonight. Probably. Alrighty. Um, so that is a uh, twenty-four plus ten, thirty-four. Ten, thirty-four. Okay, so they, he, against his confidence, so he has a 19, so 24, um, which means you do get a critical, so what you, so you're, you're creating a, um, uh, I'm creating a, um, weakness, I think they're called? Weakness, I think they're called? Yeah. Or actually, actually, actually two, they don't even, they don't even have to roll that to, um, yeah, they don't roll for um, spotting the passion to find it. Sorry. Um, it's just when you, when you manipulate it. So they didn't have to roll there. So you have a 34 total, which, um, yeah, makes a reasonable explanation. It would be kind of fun if they are a little bit nervous. There's three of you. So that makes some sense. So that will be, it won't be a critical success, but it'll be a regular okay. success. Okay. So you find a, it's a trivial where they are a little bit, um, uh, probably a trivial, um, not a, a trivial weakness uh -huh. is my guess. Uh -huh. uh, do you have a specific thing you want to put that on, like action bonus or something? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's do that to um. Let's do that to um. For them to like start shit. For them, like for them. For, like, for them. Would it be like attacking? Would it be like attacking? Essentially, if, if they're just nervous of you, particularly with the three of you here, there's only two of them. Now, granted, who all is outside? It's me and uh, Pill Orchid. Me and uh, Pill Orchid. Okay. So there's only two of you outside, but they also know that you have a friend inside. Yeah, who I was like talking to very visibly on the way. The way. Okay. Um, yeah. So at, at that point, he sort of takes a look at you, and then kind of looks back uh, at um, Lone Sparrow. Are you are you watching them from inside? Yeah. 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 He kind of takes a look at you, and then back to the two of uh, the two of you outside. News. If you interfere with the fire doctrine again, we will paste you all over these all over these stones. The feet underneath it. <laughs> but they're not they're they're not looking to start something. They they're clearly at this point nervous enough to not look to start something. I wanna start something maybe. <laughs> then do it! Do it! <laughs> Because one thing you would be able to do is you actually could um, manipulate that and then bring it up like as an action during a combat, for example. Um. Um. <laughs> Are you gonna start shit pillar, kids? <sighs> She's gonna go up to them like fucking like an inch from from the guy's face the one who was talking and she's just gonna say threaten me again threaten me again do me a favor of that go ahead and make a roll we'll, we'll see if they if they take the bait because they are a bit nervous I'm gonna, I'm gonna use their confidence I think for you that's probably Oh god. I don't know if Inspire would be the right one, or maybe even your Wu Wei, just you've got that that emptiness mm. where you're sort of ready. 
So I can use Wu Wei. So That's good. Possibly. Let me just double check. One of the things I've done is in the handout section, mm. I've got stuff on the rules, but I've also got like, the skills are there. I put the information on there. So the Wu Wei. Um, Tranquility and effortlessness. If you just want to seem like you are absolutely unafraid, I think in this case that could work. Or if you want to, um, was something like inspire the oratorical so If you just want to seem more tough, I guess which one are you going for? She's not trying to like she's purposely to seem like tough. Purposely seem tough. Uh, she's looking uh, for an excuse to, for to just kick the shit out of them. Um, so if you're in that zen state of something, yeah. or just maybe Wu Wei. Yeah, there? yeah. I guess so. Okay. I guess so. Um, uh, please give me better dice. Give me better dice. Again? Wow. Again? Wow. I'm bad at that. Oh. I mean, you got an 18 they plus your Wu Wei. Plus your Wu Wei. <laughs> They've got a 32 with a 28. Great. Great. Um. Um, so I can only ever use Joss before a roll, right? Just before a roll, right? I yeah. need to remember that Joss exists. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so yeah, the thing is, you've got um, chivalrous Joss adds one to you. Malicious Joss removes one from, from the person from that there. your opponent. Okay. So. Eighteen. And my Wu Wei is ten, I think. So it's twenty-eight, which isn't good enough. So, okay, so, they got the so I guess they're gonna the say I guess they're gonna try and start shit, which is great. No, because the thing is, you're trying to you're, you're basically trying to get them. To start yeah, shit. I guess. Yeah, they've yeah. got they've got the they've they've got the trivial thing. So like rope RP wise, they're not wanting to start something with the three of you mm -hmm. here because that does make a little bit of sense. Okay. Okay. So, um, in this case, he just sort of looks you over. He goes, destroying this poor person's uh, tea house. Would be unfair to the. Uh, would be I'm, I'm gonna say commoners because I'll have to double check the actual name for those. Like, like they're the forests. You're the rivers and the lakes. They're like the normal people, like the forests and the mountains or something. That sounds cool. Um, that sounds cool. He goes. It would be unfair to the to the people of the forests and the mountains. They are not Wu Lin. We'll find you, I'm sure. Another time. Uh, at least you have some decency have some to match decency those looks. To match those looks. Kind of looks over us. I am Sal Summer Salamander. This is Winter Salamander. Summer Salamander. Summer Winter Salamander. Salamander. Put my list of NPCs. I am Plum Blossom illuminated by the full moon. And please, and please never, never ever speak never to me again. Ever speak to me again. I would say Eyes kind of narrow. And at that point, they, they sort of... Well, he, he turns first, the other one, who's just sort of very coldly looking at both of you. As he goes past, slowly turns and follows his brother. Yeah, I think after... Sorry if you're hearing stuff. I'm also, I've also got my... My phone has got the, uh, uh, the weather thing on low. It looks like it's not hitting champagne. Good! That's good. good. Um, I think I like let out a big sigh. And I'm like, big side, I'm like, I wish they had taken the bait. Taken the bait. <laughs> yeah, she sort of like yeah, sort after of a like, moment releases the, moment the releases fish. She didn't know she was clenching. And then, um, and then um, sighs and says, sighs um, and says um, "I'm sorry, I started that I'm in your sorry, tea I house." That in your tea house. You know better now. You know better now. What's hilarious is if he hadn't put the trivial condition on them, they totally would have been. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Well, like, uh -huh. he didn't want to fight until they fucking like made a really like before it's just vague threat, but then like we'll smear you over the city walls. Like that's like just such a great insult. Like I was ready. I was ready. Um. Well, if, 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 if you yeah, if you'd have gone directly into it, that then of course they would have. Fought. Yeah, but I think like this is a moment where like I was grateful that they didn't take the bait. Like. Oh shit! Do you like, remember? Do you remember what your role was? For mine, uh, mine, uh, it was a, it was a 24, plus twenty-four plus 10, 10, 10, 34. 34. 34. I'm gonna make a note on there. I, I, did you want to do the um, once per story or once per or, or once per scene? If it's once per scene, they have five scenes to get rid of it. And what's once per story? What's once per story? Once per story is essentially. Um, once we get past like a major story beat, then they have an opportunity to get rid of it. 
What do you think is more interesting here? Because I, I don't know if I like I fully understand this system yet. So your, your total thing was what? 34? 34. 34. 34. So essentially, if you do it once per story, they, they can, uh, at the end of, like, basically when the story sort of ends, they can make the roll. If they succeed once, it goes away. If it's not, they can have, like, five scenes. They, they, they can do it kind of every scene. They can make a roll to see if it goes okay. away. Okay. Okay. So one of them one of them is much more of a short term, um, but does require a bunch of successes. The other one is long term, but only a single success will get. Oh, uh, let's do the short term one. I think it's more interesting. I think it's more interesting. So yeah, I'll just make a note that the thirty four was what you rolled for it. So I put that, and then occasionally, like I'll, I'll make a couple rolls for them to see if they've been able to knock that five down. And eventually, that will that will go away during the course of this. Now, right now, it's trivial. If you if you if you uh, uh, inflate's not the right word, but it means the same thing. If you, or if you inflame it, if you inflame it, then it becomes more powerful. Then it probably gets a different number that they have to beat. Mm -hmm. Cool. So cool. Right now, it's, it's not a it's not a negative in any actions that they do, huh. but it in the role playing aspect it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I had, like, uh, right, I back had, inside, right back uh, inside, you said their names, uh, you said names I see in trouble, they're east and, west, trouble salamander. Trouble they're east and west Salamander. Um, summer and oh, summer and winter Salamander. Oh, summer and winter Salamander. Oh, summer and winter Salamander. Oh, I put east and west, I decided to change as I looked over what the actual, um, what the, uh, where, where the, like, summer and winter were, mm. were, uh, on the, the five, five element wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Which were, it would have been, like, west and north. So I decided just to go with the summer and winter sound. Yeah, uh, like go back to Lone Sparrow. Uh, to Lone Sparrow. Um, um, their names were summer and winter salamander. Summer and winter salamander. If you see them, please feel free to cause us much trouble as you'd like. They're indecent people. Indecent people. Mm. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. There's probably going to be a lot of trouble in this city. Are you sure you guys are okay to stay here? Please. Please. <laughs> I think she like refers, she, like, she's like, refers, motioning, she's, like, more like motioning more towards like the, the, this the, building and this like, building and, like, not them set, not the, the people, mm, not the, 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 the forest and the, like, the, forest the people you're connected to, yeah. They've been through worse. They've been through worse. Mm. And, and those men at least had the decency to respect. To respect. <laughs> That the forest and the mountains the don't want to get involved. Don't want to get involved. And this directly as we. This directly as we. They'll be fine. They have the prestige here. This is a small but well-known establishment, and if any harm came to it, harm came to it, there would be repercussions that many would fear. That many would fear. But I appreciate your concern. I appreciate your concern. She nods and says, "So about that work." I mean. Uh, uh, I, would I would prefer to create some distance. Create some distance. I know it's hypocritical know it's after, hypocritical I, just hypocritical offered after it. I just offered it. Uh, but, uh, but I can try and I can try Steve, and Steve. Steve, I have many connections. I, have many connections. I will put out some feelers for you. Feelers. What sort of work do you prefer? What sort of work do you prefer? Uh. uh yeah, a list goes through yeah, her it head, through and, her it's head. Like and it's like and quite small, and then just like, relatable. Over, time, over time, it just like expands just like more and more and more and more, more because and more like, more because like, she sighs at this point, at this point anything. <laughs> anything? Well, anything. how like conventionally how attractive, attractive is, is Pale Orchid? Is she, Pale Orchid. um, okay, she, so, uh, okay, so, uh, She's trying to hide uh, it a little bit. Like she, she looks a little bit, she um, looks a little bit um, worse for wear because of like her living conditions. Like, so like maybe like clothes so, like, are a bit tatty and bit stuff tatty like that. But um, yeah. conventionally, but, um, she is um, beautiful. She is well, with a little cleanup, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, we could find you an apprentice in one of the pleasure houses. And you do understand that you get to choose what you do there. I'm not necessarily saying you have to partake in all of the pleasures, but. But let me know, and I can try to see what I can set up for you. I could perhaps even try to teach you a thing or two that I've learned. Wink! Wink! <laughs> yeah, she grits her teeth slightly, and just like... Desperate time schools for desperate measures. And then she, she just like, bows slightly, just like... Just, a, just appreciative of the work. 
Could I suggest a secondary option? One that might be more your speed? Mm hmm. The Talons are a mercenary company. And with the city being a powder cake it is right now, there will always be a call for swords. God, oh, fuck. fuck. Um, Where the fucking two, like, NPCs in the, like, in the fucking, like, early tutorial sections? Like, which faction will you choose for this game? I think. Whenever um, you choose one of these factions, you may not be able to see all of the. Games. Yeah! <laughs> See, like, any like, day of the week, she would have been like, been yeah, no, no, let me punch things, please let me just, I just want to fucking kick the shit out of something. But, like, after the meeting with, um, with the, 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 the scholar, um, saying, like, this sword is fucking the most irredeemable shit, get it out of your hands immediately, uh, she's gun shy. So, like, she thinks about it for a long time, and then think, and he's just like, I think. I think I'll look for I'll mercenary, mercenary work, work when, when the city starts, starts to explode. explode. For now, for now I, th I th think, think I need, I need something, something more calm. calm. And it pains her to say that. Like, it's like, she's like, God. I think I'm like, a, like I hide it, but I'm a little insulted. Like, like, I'm good at, like, I, I, like, Plum Blossom has incredible value for the work he does. And the fact that you are so taciturn about it. It's, it's not that, like, she, um, because she, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. She it's, had such a fucking snooty background when she was with HSA. Like, she lived at the headquarters and, like, family was, like, a big deal. Yeah, yeah. She was raised, she was raised like, under pump and circle. Oh, yeah, but I don't get, like, any of that. I just see, like, okay, are you, like, it's my life's not that bad. Like, you see it? Like, <laughs> she's been, she's been humbled a lot, but even, but just, 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 she's just, just a little bit, just like, oh, God. Well, well, whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready let, me know and I can let me know and I can see what, maybe see I can what, first try to teach you some things, you then things. we can see about then you applying for apprenticeship. You applying for apprenticeship. Do they pay daily? Do they pay daily? Um, I do not want to go back to sleep at that end. Yeah, I have a feeling this is not a thing where they wait for. I, mean, I don't think there's a culture probably where they wait for yeah. the end of the week. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I, I do not yeah, want to sleep I, back I, at the end. Yeah, 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 like. Yeah, yeah, if you need a place to stay for the night, you should have just said so. You should have just said so. I will take care of that. I will take care you of that. You won't be able to get a job in a day. You won't be able to get a job we'll in a day. To we'll need to cover some necessary cover skills before you're ready, skills. but before you're ready. I'll arrange something. I think she bows something. much deeper this time, and it's just like, oh my god, a place to stay that isn't going to be a shit, a shit show. Yeah, and this time, like, I do want to spend a joss for this, because I want it to be a big deal. Like, I get her into, like, a very nice place. Um, okay. At the, at the same... Yeah, maybe, maybe a blue, a blue orchid. Uh, house. A house. Just okay. uh, house. you'll be staying at a place you'll where you will see the sort of where you will see the sort of top tier of what our profession has to offer. It can be an inspiration for you, inspiration and also a very nice bath. And also a very nice bath. Yeah, she bows and like yeah, is like visibly and, like holy like, fuck, thank you. Like, and also, I'm going to lend you some clothes. And also, I'm going to lend you some clothes. You're not going in there in those tatters. You're not going in there in those tatters. Can I keep the hat? Can I keep the hat? It's a hat in tatters. <laughs> it's a hat in tatters. Uh, it's more well pres it's probably just a bit like well dusty it's more than anything else. Like ah, good cleaning and it should be fine. Ah, good cleaning and it should be fine. Huh. Well, Lone Sparrow, thanks for well, holding down the fort Lone during Sparrow, the confrontation. The fort during the I appreciate having you in the back pocket. I appreciate having you in the back pocket. Uh, uh, oh god, that's power. I'm sorry. We're, we're <laughs> in and out. Oh, what was that? Oh, I said, uh, I, I appreciate you holding down the fort while we were confronting the salamanders. It was good to make sure someone was here to keep an eye on this. Hmm. Consider it payment for the tea. Consider it payment for the tea. Very well. 
bow. Very well. Well then, I think Pale Orchid and I have a lot of work to do, and you're free to watch, of course, but I think she might prefer a smaller audience for her preparations. The song says she's a bit of a fixer-upper um, from uh, Frozen Plains. <laughs> God. God. All right. All right. Okay. Do you all end up heading off your separate places? I, I think that's where I'm going. Like, I'm ready to <laughs> pill work it up. Pill work it up. Lone Sparrow. Yes. Yes. You look up at one point and see um, the the same sort of, without the mask, but the same masked uh, person, uh, mournful ghost you saw yesterday, rushing, like running over the rooftops and sort of looking down uh, onto the crowd sometimes for people. He hasn't seen you yet. Yeah, I'm going to go drop in. Like, there's no reason not to. I don't want to attack him or anything, but... I don't want to attack him or anything, but... Keeping a beat on the pulse of the city is probably a good idea, and somebody who's part of the Fallen Leaves is a good person to keep an eye on. Is a good person to keep an eye on. Okay. So do you, like, go up to one of the rooftops? Yep. With him, or... T- yep. Tell me tell me how you drop in on him. Um... I don't quite announce myself, but I'm basically gaining myself, speed on his side, like, just off to his side, left. Like, just off until we're bouncing at kind of the same rate. Bouncing at kind of the same rate. Yeah, so he's kind of looking, and then he kind of looks over at you, and then, like, in the air, he sort of spins, and then comes down on the rooftop. And when he does, he brings his hand, he brings his, like, right fist into his left palm, and bows his head slightly. And just sort of awaits a moment. Because I was hoping to find you. Just kind of bows back. Just kind of bows back. Then he stands... You and your friends helped save many lives last night. I'm sorry, go. I, I, I didn't hear friends. that. I, I didn't hear that. Oh, you and your friends helped save many lives last night. We owe you a great deal. It's, it's what we do. Or what we do. What's an upstanding what's member upstanding of our societies would do. Of our societies would do. I apologize for the brashness with which I asked this. But I'm asking for your aid. You cut out. For, yeah, Did you I cut out. Through? You cut out. For, oh, yeah, I didn't hear yeah. that. I apologize for I the brash. I apologize for the brashness with, with which I asked this, but I'm asking for your aid. What would you need? What would you need? I am a member of a faction of the Falling Leaves Society who would actually seek to have common cause with Resplendent Phoenix Society. Unfortunately, with the things that have happened with Gallant Eagle, I am afraid that soon we will be coming to blows quite quickly as we try to show our place in the Wulin. You are... You or your friends are friends with at least a member of the Wulin? Or of the Resplendent Phoenix Society? I am friends with a member. Um, with a member. More of a friend, um, of, a friend of, a of a friend of a friend. Maybe an acquaintance. Maybe an acquaintance. But there are ways, but I suppose. There are ways, I suppose. What I would like to do is cut off hostilities between us. There is no reason for the Falling Leaves Society and the Resplendent Phoenix to be at odds, but we are mired in tradition. The world is changing, and we will change with it, but... It's taking some work. And we've often been at odds with each other, with our, each other's societies. I believe with some work diplomacy and perhaps some outside help, further conflict can be headed off before it happens. A noble goal, to say the least. A noble goal, to say the least. I've been sent to steal the information going to the Resplendent Phoenix because more than likely what they were getting was the information that I know that both you and myself know of what happens with Gallant Eagle. 
The Master Flawless was hoping to else have that. essentially use that knowledge. Else have that. Oh, Master Flawless was hoping to essentially use that knowledge to push the conflict before the Resplendent Phoenix was ready. At this point, we essentially have two armed camps trying to take power in the city. There are more of us, but they've sent more capable members in total from the Resplendent Phoenix. <sighs> Truly, I'm more than likely not the one to talk to. I probably stepped on a few toes on my last delivery there. But there are people. But there are people. No, they're a little busy at the moment, I suppose. The next day. Would you be? Would you be able to make introductions? If that's all you're asking. If that's all you're asking. I would say to them exactly what I have said to you. I am not supposed to be here. I definitely am not supposed to be talking to you about this. It's cost nothing, but cost should nothing, it come to blows? Should it come to well, blows? That's well, when coin starts trading hands. That's when coin starts trading and the talon, sadly, the talon is in the nature sadly, of taking the highest is bidder. In the nature of taking the highest bidder. I don't have much money, but I am hoping to head off a war between two great societies here in town. That must be worth something. We shall see. Um, see. Yeah, I. Um, um, yeah, I. Um. I believe like I'll, we'll give him the address like the tea house we'll of the address, like, the tea the, that we were just at. The, that we were just uh, at. Decadence of yeah. autumn. It's like uh, come along tomorrow and we'll see come about. And I'll we'll see about trading you. I'll see about trading, trading your you. spiel to someone uh, closer to your goal. Someone closer to your goal. And he, he bows again, and it's like, I owe you a great deal. Thank you much. It was no bother. It was no bother. At which point he sort of bows again, and then heads back towards um, Falling Leaves Society territory. Like, I, I imagine at this point Sparrow has, like, I pulled out, like, a little notebook or something, or some kind of way to keep notes, and is starting to write on, like, people I owe favors to, or that owe me favors, and it's like this big, dumb web of the city that's slowly getting more hearts. <laughs> God! God! <laughs> Sparrow's life sounds fucking exhausting. <laughs> exhausting. Yeah. When you're, when you're speedy, you can only ever go fast. you can only ever go fast. <laughs> okay, and I know um, it's about nine o'clock, so should we be ending here soon? I'm okay going a little bit later since we got okay, started a little bit later. Got if I, uh, if everyone else okay with it? If I, uh, if everyone else okay with yeah, it? Yeah, I can go just a bit later. Yeah, I can go just a bit later. Uh, yeah, sure, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, sure, just a little bit. Okay, as I said, if if not, the other thing we might be able to do is, I mean, just Oren usually shows up a little bit later, so we might actually be able to hit the stuff with. Um, uh, at the house a little bit sooner. Well, why don't, do the, why don't we do this since we've got a little bit of time and I don't know, we'll see how long this takes. Did anybody want to award deed points to each other for awesome mm. things you did tonight? Mm. Awesome things. Awesome things. <sighs> everything I didn't do anything awesome. today. I didn't do anything today. <laughs> <laughs> Let us have a look. Have a look. Did you not? Did you even? Did you not roll today? Did you even? Did you not roll today? Uh. uh I rolled. I don't think he rolled, but, but rolled, he, he did do stuff. Wasn't really a thing. Wasn't really a thing. Mm. Oh I right, it was because I, I was following you. Because I was following you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did nothing impressive today. Yeah, I did nothing impressive today. You. You tried to back up that person up who was getting a mouth earful, um, um, and trying to like um, not shift like, the blame, but be like, "Hey, look, they're, the they're not the only blameless person." Um, uh, I actually think like you like you you gave the like danger signal to your friend, but stayed to like make sure my mom was safe. So I kind of want to give you a loyalty. So I kind of want to give you a for that. Cause like you're a mercenary, Cause, like, you're a mercenary. and like you fight for coin. Our contract has ended. Coin. Our contract has ended. And he specifically stayed. 
and he specifically stayed. Like, I don't know. Like, it wasn't like an impressive role, but I think that like demonstrated that that chivalry. That, that I guess you also didn't let your um, didn't let your, um, your your dislike of this mass person your, your get in the way of, of, of what they had to say to you. But yeah, I also like the loyalty thing. But yeah, I also like the loyalty thing. Oh, I'll urge you the loyalty thing. Oh, I'll urge you the loyalty thing. So Sparrow, what's your loyalty? Four. Thing? Loyalty is four. Four. Loyalty Damn. is four. All right, Damn. so you gain four chivalrous joss. And we have four entanglement. Yeah, four entanglement. Yeah, as I like to yeah. call them, problematic lover like points. Problematic <laughs> lover points. <laughs> um, I've, I've also I've also put at the bottom some campaign war sheet stuff. There's other stuff if we want to make up, we can kind of put in there. At this point, like for example, I mean it could be more entangled. Like more things happen with the. Um, I'll put this here. Um, the um, the um, makes sense. Four points. Uh, Called on by the merchants, uh, whose name is I do have up here. Yeah. Um. Is. Yeah. Um. Is. Are the Respondent Phoenix Society uh, Respondent and Phoenix um, Society House of Falling Leaves um, sheets unlocked for us yet? Sheets unlocked for us yet? I mean, the thing. The thing is, pretty much anybody, anything in the. Um, uh, in the book, if it makes sense, you can kind of use, you can spend those points there oh, too. These are for this is just oh, the, these are for yeah, the campaign lore sheet here is just the stuff that uh, fits uh -huh. directly. If you uh -huh. want one of them to take more of an interest in him, you could unlock like the one of those for him, because the status there could also be something like they are aware of you, and you have some respect or disrespect uh -huh. in their eyes, depending. Well, look at eagle talons. Well, look at eagle talons. Uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. uh Let's see. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, um... Okay. Yeah, um... We've only got four to spend. And we, well, he's already been called on by the merchant, right? he's already been called on by the merchant, right? So that's already spent. So that's already spent. No, it's not spent. That'll be something else called on. But we can also come up with other things besides these. And if you're not sure, you can just make a note that there's four points to be spent. All right, cool. I'll make... All right, cool. Or maybe you I'll should make, make that note, Orin. <laughs> or maybe you should make that note, Orin. <laughs> well, you, you just literally put it by... I'll, I'll put the thing. Four points. I can't hear a lot. What am I supposed to do? I can't hear a lot. What am I supposed to do? Oh, no, I've, I've, I put the thing up there saying... Um, He's not quite sure what to spend it on yet, but there'll be four points he can spend on you. Okay. And we can come up with okay. other things besides just what's yeah. in here. Yeah. So basically, if you go, this would be something cool you think to happen, you could you could um, make a note of that. Or if there's something that goes along with one of the societies that you want to bring in, or some, like a, another lore sheet from the book, you can do that uh -huh. as well. Uh -huh. And it's not hard to kind of eyeball something um, pretty quick and create, like, I'd like them more involved in this, and we can kind of create something real fast. Cool. 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 So that is Colton's deed point. Um, Orin or Xander? There was a couple of things for Plum Blossom, but I can't think of, like, where to put, like, put them. Um... Maybe loyalty with how much you protected, loyalty, like your your like family, like, and put so much care into like the tea house. Into, like, the tea um, house. Um, what's before that? Then maybe. Then <sighs> maybe. Yeah, I don't like. It was definitely yeah, this thing about how. Um, it was definitely this thing about how. Um, I liked a lot how. I liked a lot. Uh, Plum Blossom was just like Plum trying to Blossom defuse the situation. Like, then, as soon the as one of the people just like insulted her with just like, yo, we'll spread you across the wall, she was uh, he, he was like, yo, I'm, I want to fucking throw down right now. <laughs> um, I thought that was really cool, but I don't no idea where I placed that. Um, I mean, maybe honor if that's what you want you want to do it for. Yeah, maybe honor might be good. Honor or loyalty, I think. Honor different. or loyalty, I think. Different. Hmm. Hmm. 
Not to meta this, but what are your loyalty and honor? This, my loyalty is two and my honor is three. My loyalty is two and my honor is three. Sure, you can go with honor. <laughs> <laughs> Not to meta, but less meta. <laughs> Not to meta, but also entanglement points are great. They are. They are. Um, so hold on, where's the sheet of things? Let's get that. Yeah, and again, you can, all, you can always come up with other things, or if you have something like, like this thing would be neat for you to get involved in, just say that, we can create something on the fly pretty easily. Load pin messages, damn it. Load pin messages, damn it. There it is. There it is. Um. Um. Oh, is it not on the third third oh, strike? Not on the third third strike. All of the there's no three cost ones, but there's two cost ones that are all sad. <laughs> Not sad, but troublesome. So um, where's the, oh, there's, there it is. Um, plum blossom. Plum blossom. Plum blossom. So he's looking at that. Oren, did you have anything you wanted to? I can't get it to load either. <laughs> That's because of my shit on it. Okay, well, um, okay, you'd well, be awarding something for Peel Orchid. The ones that would be able to be purchasable would be someone would be from the Heaven Sword Alliance who would, would, would recognize Peel Orchid is nearby, or uh, disciples of the corrupt Uncle Catch Wind that the sword has been seen nearby. We have already bought that someone recognizes the sword, and that person is a villain who wishes thieves. And that will be next session. Um, yeah, you also need to give me point. Like, you need to say when what points I get. You can kind of put the thing there, and if you've got an idea, let me, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Cool. What are you thinking, Xander? I mean, um, let me also pull up my other uh, lore sheets really yeah, quick sure. to see what else um, I'm bought into. A Caller Falls in Love is highlighted, but did we pick that? I just thought it was there was a rival. No, the caller fell in love. Hmm? Go ahead. Orn? What? No, I believe we picked that. The highlighting was the ability to pick things. Yeah, so highlighting means it's been chosen. Because I got four last time, so I got a Pleasure House that's heard of Plum Blossom. Oh, no, and the minus two is because there was a rival. Yeah, they, I got both. And then the caller falls in love, that was this okay. person we just met. Yeah. This time. Um, I also have the Magnificent Ink um, like sheet unlocked. Hmm. Um, which I will pull up and see if there's any three costs on there. there's any three costs on there. And if you're also not quite sure, if you have something that doesn't say like it's on a, on a lore sheet, um, or either one in the book or one of these, that you think this would be uh, you're cool cutting to out. see with this character. Oh, uh, you're cutting out. Oh. If you have something you think would be cool to see with this character, you can just kind of say that, and usually coming up with a lore sheet cost is mm. pretty quick. Um, um, and it's also something we, we can kind of ponder over between yeah, this week and true. next week. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, I don't want to hold you guys up. Also, yeah, um, Arin, um, did you decide on how many Arin, points I get, or what, like, what thing, thing I did? Um... Deed wise, um, honestly, because we haven't done it before, I want to do the before. negative deeds. The yes! Yes! Yeah. 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 Wait, where's that? <laughs> uh, just on your character sheet. Those you have chivalrous, and chivalrous and selfish oh, virtues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to load it, and it's not I'm working. Um, um, did, there's did, revenge. There's revenge. Do you want me to list them for you, Orin? Do you want me to listen for you? I've already? got it now. Revenge, individualism, now. obsession, Revenge, ruthlessness, and ferocity. Um, I did try to start a fight. Um, <laughs> you, tried to you tried to start a fight. You tried to start a fight. Yeah. Rich. In the middle of my mother's very nice tea shop. And my aunt. Nice 
Yeah. Also, to all to like <laughs> all calls to on like, uh, to get rid of the sword, I was just like, nope. So maybe individualism, I guess. Yeah, you you've stuck to your guns yeah, in the worst way possible. Way possible. by wanting to draw your guns and shoot people. Also, I'm just saying individualism is also, four points. <laughs> 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 Not to Meta Game, Xander, 2018. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's funny. It's fine. It's funny. I just want to get some points flowing just early on. I mean, you've got some twos on your sheet. I mean, you've got some twos on your sheet. That's true. Mm, you don't have twos on your sheet. I have twos. We can come up with two. Oh wait, no. It's still individuals. You're stuck to your guns, and your guns are horrible right now. Your guns are horrible right now. Okay. All right. So four. All right. So four. Get. I mean, that disciples of the corrupt uncle is really good. The corrupt uncle is really good. But it, it, Orin, it's Orin's it, it, thing. Orin, yeah. it's Orin's thing. Yeah, you're also gonna be. You're also gonna be. Yeah, I was gonna say like, like if they all yeah, open, it's like yeah, like, like a Mexican standoff. <laughs> You can kind of you can kind of save some stuff too, and then later on decide to put it into. Something. Well, I thought we had to. I thought if we didn't well, spend these, had, then they disappear. If we didn't spend these, then they disappear. No, I, I'm, I'm. You can kind of like if you want to put that towards something that'll take a while. You can do that, or if you just right now, if, if you want to take some time to sort of damn my stuff over, is like what would be cool things to happen? Like it might be clearer next okay. session. It's expensive. After okay, expensive. After some stuff. Expensive. Yeah. Uh, Four points yeah. gets the worst Four makeover montage from Boston. Oh, that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, you you could definitely buy something for um, um, like Pale Orchid in particular, like things going well or bad at the. Uh, yeah, Orin, how do you want that to go? Yeah, Orin, it's, it's your choice. You have the power. I'm not catching. You have the power. Dude, I'm not gonna. I'm not catching very many I'm words, so I'm gonna turn it over, over to you guys because I think my signal is decompressed to the point I can no longer make decisions. Orin, are you sure? Because you get to choose. You can choose how Xander's or how Pale Orchid's courtesan training goes. I want it to go well, like surprisingly well. Okay. Could you? Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, if we basically put four points to. Um, she gains uh, the basis. She'll she'll uh, gain a lot of attention at the at the house. Great. I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I suspect that it'll be good at first, we and we'll drive a wedge in our friendship. Quote unquote attention. That um, sounds <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> more popular than plum blossom suddenly. More oh great. Oh hell God. yes. God. God no. <laughs> We're breaking apart already. <laughs> I mean that's oh, the that's, that's the know. obvious, or, or just like it's the hot new thing. It's the hot new thing, you know, like oh god, just wet. Orin, how do you feel about that? Yeah, you, you get like a six, and like training goes super well. Immediately upsets balance of house due to new girl. Oh yeah, because that'll cause problems. Yeah, if you want to spend those points there, that's great. Where's the Where's the selfish virtue where's for Plum Blossom? That it's just jealousy that's going to be. Uh, probably individuality. Uh, probably individualism. Also, um, it could be obsession or revenge. It could be revenge. <laughs> so we'll get we'll get I'll get some uh, corrupt joss next time. It'll be great. Are you Are you ready for even more passive aggressive Plum Blossom? Just dialed up to eleven. <laughs> Beautiful. And then I'll flirt with you to get some entanglement. It'll be great. It'll be great. <laughs> in battle. In yeah, battle. yeah. I, I have to be in battle when I flirt, or else I don't get it. So you're definitely gonna start a fight with me and then flirt. Great. <laughs> good. Yeah, I feel. I feel like that's a good end of session. This is a really interesting system. This is a really interesting system. Entanglement is is no, the like, You could you could also you could possibly buy a uh, opportunity for um, loans for uh, yeah loan sparrow to work at the house of the orchid. <laughs> With the four entanglement, <laughs> like Lone Sparrow is offered offered a guard position at the at the blue house of the blue orchid. 
absolutely working. If you want uh, to guard jobs, would be something he'd be, he'd be down for. His contract's, contract's out. out. And like, how do you feel about that as like a player? Like, is that an interesting like, thing for you? Because I want it to be interesting for you, not just an excuse to bring the characters together. It's an excuse to bring the characters together. Would that be interesting? Would that be interesting? It'd keep everybody closer together, which I think is interesting, because I do like the angle of, like, I don't know why I've been assigned to guard this guy, but I have. So I need Okay. That, and it's fun to put him in situations in which he's uncomfortable. Oh, it's so true. Yeah, so, he's offered a guard the house of the Blue Orchid. Oh, we can complicate it! Oh, we can complicate it! Someone at the Blue Orchid is one of his exes. Oh, man. God. God. Yeah, what if his ex is reaching out? It's his ex who reaches out to him with the job offer. Yeah? He's, yeah, that would be awesome. He started this with like this he thing of like, with, like he's never talked, talked to a woman, and that's why it was so complicated. And now he just has a million ex girlfriends. <laughs> I, th I think it'd be hilarious if you're kind of like Jack Sparrow in the first one, where he keeps getting slapped by the women. <laughs> well, I, I, I also really like the opposite, bad bad where like, opposite this like taciturn like, young fellow in like a mercenary company just has had a string of like really pleasant, casual flings. So, like, <laughs> and, like oh, I just love the image of like whenever an ex comes up and is like all friendly, just like Lone Sparrow is just like the most uncomfortable person in the planet. <laughs> It's like, hey, it was nice speaking to you. Mm -hmm. Hey, it was nice mm -hmm. speaking to you. Mm -hmm. God, yeah, that's what I want to do. So I will erase the note from. <laughs> so I will. That sounds excellent. Um, I guess I'll write this. So uh, four points. So, uh, four points. Mm -hmm. Four points. Four points. A previous, A previous lover of Lone Sparrow of Lone offers Sparrow him. Offers him a position, a position at the house, at the of, the house of the blue orchid. orchid. I love the idea that he's got several old lovers in this town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's very, it's very high drama to have like all of the like, people of the just people somehow, in, somehow orbit here. in orbit here. Yeah, they all just teleport, yeah, all to, this just place. teleport to this place. Thematically, Thematically teleport. <laughs> Awesome! I'm glad we figured that out. And I, know, <laughs> yeah, and I know next time, since since usually it's Orin's a little bit later getting people taken care of before he gets here, that puts us in a good place to start off with you two. Then when Orin comes in, we can pick up... Getting the job. Getting the job. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, if we also wanted to try and shift things a little bit later to accommodate, I mean, yeah. I would be okay with that. Like if we wanted to go later as a general rule, I'm cool with it. Like just a half an hour shift, an hour might, shift maybe? might maybe. How's six thirty to nine thirty for everybody? Yeah, uh, maybe fifteen yeah, minutes yeah. from now yeah, would be. One... Hmm? I'm okay like, with that. I'll type it that in. Should, that, that should work fine for me. I'm not like doing anything during the day. The reason I'm late sometimes is to take my little brother back and forth from swimming. Well, we could try fifteen then, if you think you can make um six fifteen or six fifteen or. Just grab. I guess like six fifteen or I think it's, it's usually it's about half an hour before you're able to join us. I think that's true. That's true. I mean, I think it's up to you. Just, like, I mean, it's up to you. God. God. just just post whatever time you decide on. I'm like I said, I'm free during the day. Just like okay. it might be good to just like float around the, like, the normal around time and normal just like and just, just have like that little have, half an hour gap like hour to start gap, late. Like, I guess. So like if if it starts early, or if it starts at the same time, that's fine. But if not, we can just get, like wait a little bit longer, right? Yeah. So just start at six like normal. But if we have to go late, we go late. Yeah. And then like next week in particular, we'll be able to start with the two of you, and then when when uh, Lone Sparrow joins us, we'll be able to go. Yeah. Yeah. I just wasn't sure if Orin wanted to be here to listen to the montage. <laughs> the montage fun. <laughs> I'm sure it will be hilarious. I'm sure it will be hilarious. Should we wait for you on that scene, Orin? Wait for you on that scene, Orin? Uh, no. You can go ahead and start without me. No, you can go ahead and start without me. What's that film where the cop like enters a beauty pageant or whatever it was? Uh, Miss Congeniality. Yeah, that's what I'm like thinking right now. I'm not seeing it. 
I've not seen it. I was gonna say Pretty Woman. I was gonna say. Pretty I was Woman. thinking like Mulan, like yeah, the, the intro of Mulan. Mulan. Yeah. Like the intro of Mulan. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Except for with more consent. Except for with more consent. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Good session. All right. Good session. I'll see y'all. Yep. See you next week. Bye guys. See you next week. Bye. Later. Bye guys. Bye.